There wasn't even a count in. It was just surprise. We're live. <laughs> Greetings, welcome. This is the final Carterville stream for the Witchwood. Oh, Ben, I'm entirely too excited for this right now. <laughs> uh, this is, of course, it says on the screen there, but, but in case you can't read, this is Sean Day 9 Plot. <laughs> for any of you illiterate folk who've managed to find your way to Twitch, <laughs> welcome. Hearthstone's going to be hard to play for you, I think. It but. will be rough. <laughs> but we'll narrate. Uh, <laughs> welcome, man. How you doing? I, I am great. I'm like super excited for Witchwood, not only for the new cards, but also because all the old cards are rotating out. Yeah. It's Anytime gonna a, things change. It's going to be a lot of change. Oh, Hearthstone becomes so good whenever there's a big change. <laughs> because it's new, it's new toys to play with. Exactly. Each, each little card is a little, a little piece to a Rube Goldberg machine. <laughs> Yeah, that's exactly at least how my deck. That's, like, that's how I've always thought of it. Right. Oh, it's great. <laughs> it's good to be on the same page. <laughs> so, uh, all right. So, let's see. Uh, we we want to talk a little bit about. So, let's you know. There's like one or two people here who have not who just don't know what's up with the witch. Yeah. Got to just set it up real briefly. Uh, we got some. We got some cool stuff coming. Witchwood, of course, is a, is a yeah. set about. Uh, the spooky forest around Gilneas, right? Yeah. The, the city of Worgen, where Warcraft take, take on werewolves. And the, the forest has been growing around the city, and a witch named Hagatha has taken up residence in that forest, twisting the trees and the creatures there. Yeah, Ooh. Yeah. Oh, that was, that was a very spooky <laughs> description. And, uh, you know, it would be pretty bad for, like, a normal city to have this happen. Very likely, yes. But, but uh, the Gilneans are worgen, and so it's kind of this monster versus monster battle. Over the turf of Gilneas. Well, I mean, I have to ask about some of the mechanics that are in the set. I yeah. mean, I, I know a lot of people have been getting hyped about it, but um, for any of you who don't know about it, there's it, I'd say there's like three or four core mechanics that I see. There's the even odd theme and deck construction. Yes. There's yeah, yeah, yeah. Echo there's, there's and two there's major, Rush. Yes, exactly. There's two yeah. major even odd uh, legendaries. Gen Greymain says, can you build a deck? Yeah. With only even cost cards, and if you can, yeah. he's going to jump out of the deck at the beginning of the game and make your hero power cost one the whole game. Now, it's sort of reminiscent of like Reno Jackson, where right. I mean, like, talk to me about the sort of inspiration for going in the even odd direction. Yeah, because because like you know, Hearthstone's a digital game, so we can we can yeah. check your deck. And verify, yeah, you, you succeeded at the deck building constraint here. You yeah. did it, and we can give you a bonus. And if you've ever played a card game with someone in real life, you never want to be like. No, trust me, I satisfied that condition. <laughs> right, exactly. Trust and, me. And uh, and we actually really liked the Reno thing. We did it again with um, the, the Blood Princes in uh, Knights of the Frozen Throne. And this one is kind of yeah. the, the coolest, I think, version of that because you know sometimes you, you go through all the work to build this crazy deck with these restrictions and you don't draw the card. And, and and this time, no matter what, you always get the benefit because at the start of the game, these guys pop yeah. out and give you an upgrade. I didn't mention Baku the Moon Eater. That's the other half of this this puzzle. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if you build a deck with all odd cost cards, we upgrade your hero power. It gets like double the effect. It's super, yeah. super insane. Yeah, I mean, I want to I want to stress this because if any of you have ever made a Reno Jackson deck where all you need to do is just draw Reno Jackson and you live, and then you don't, you curse the gods. But in this circumstance, you just build an even only deck or an odd only deck, yeah. and the trigger for the legendary happens at the beginning Start of the game. game. So you always get the benefit whether you draw that card or not. Right. Yeah. Uh, Echo. Echo is, uh, if you have the mana, you can play this card as many times as you want in a single turn. So we yeah. showed previously Phantom Militia, and it's a three-cost, two-four taunt minion. You can play that on turn three, or two copies on turn six, or three copies on turn nine. You can just keep jamming yeah. out there as long as you have the mana. Yeah, and, and this is this is kind of the mechanic of Unstable Evolution. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I mean, we just, kind of snuck an Echo. Yeah, I like, you, you tapped card. me like, oh, that's that's the... <laughs> Good job. That was very perceptive of you, Dave. Remember I, the card. Good, yeah. I know. I did my research for today's show. I, and, and I'm I, I'm curious. Is this? Uh, did it come from Unstable Evolution? Like, was Unstable Evolution a test, or was this already in the works? No, it was like, almost like parallel design actually, because we started doing that thing, and, we, and it came from this other. And it's you could kind of hear about the backstory. It was like and, a uh, Newton Leibniz thing, right? Uh, who's Newton Leibniz? Um, Isaac Newton and Leibniz discovered oh, okay. calculus at different points. Newton. Uh, that's, Newton. This is for the like seven mathematicians <laughs> watching who are like, oh, that <laughs> reference was killer. Oh. <laughs> Thank you for, for bringing me up to speed on calculus. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, you could, the ghostly video we launched a couple weeks back has all the details about how that was developed, but it was yeah. kind of a different path. Uh, and then Rush, and Rush is just, just bad charge. I, I, okay, okay. <laughs> I didn't say it. I didn't say it. <laughs> no, actually, he said it. It's it's way yeah. more interesting. It's, it turns out like charge. Usually, you, you, you play your minions and you, you're just beating your opponent, and you 
play charge man and go face and and, and it just snowballs yeah. the offensive line or whatever. I mean, it seems like charge has been just a difficult mechanic to make consistently feel fair and reasonable. Yes, I we, think that most of the cards we've nerfed or some huge yeah. percentage have charge. Yeah. <laughs> Rest in peace, War Song Commander. <laughs> yeah, she got nerfed multiple times. I know. Yeah. Now she's like give plus one attack to all left-handed minions, and I'm like, wow, <laughs> God, they really didn't I want this card. I still to... feel bad about it. Yeah, no, it's it's so okay. Does, and so does the community. This so. is the chance at redemption. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, okay, so actually, rush yeah. really interesting because if you're on uh, if you're on the back foot, your opponent's got a board full of minions. Yeah, uh, rush means you get to decide the tempo. You get to choose the the, the trades that are beneficial yeah, like, for as you as the losing player. Right. Yeah, you usually, really... you play your minion, and they get to make all the decisions, and and, uh, and you're you're just trying to stabilize. But rush helps you right. stabilize. It helps you make the right trades. So I think it's significantly. Uh, better for Hearthstone than Charge. I think we're gonna, and we're able to make a lot more minions with Rush because right. uh, you know it's just a it's just a safer mechanic and a lot of fun. We're gonna play some of, some Rush cards today. Should we should we get into the games, Sean? Yes, Start revealing yes, some we cards. should. Yeah, you're. T- oh, we want to hear about where the cards came from. No, no, no. Let's let's get into this game. What's the very first deck that we're going to be doing? It sounds like I'm going to get to be a paladin. Yeah. So let me tell you a little bit about your. Uh, uh, All right. Your decks here. It says Prince Liam. Prince Liam. He's a uh, Gen Graymans. Son who uh, passed away and came back as a ghost. All right. Uh, so, okay. so is let this me. It? Do I? Yep. Yep. Choose your deck. I... Yep. 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 Okay. Oh wait. No. 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 Cancel. Cancel. Oh no. That's the wrong deck. You. That's the wrong deck. <laughs> it's the wrong deck. I. <laughs> I... <laughs> Bail out. Stop Bail... watching the stream. Stop watching the stream. Turn it off. Count to a hundred and come back. This is like the one thing we have. Is it highlighted the deck that we were supposed to play? <laughs> oh my God. It's it's filling the loading bar. And, oh. and uh, Christina's sitting right. Oh here my God. She's, oh like, my... she's like doing this. She's like no no no. She's not. All, no. Right. All, right, all right. All right. Hold on. And then. <laughs> Oh, oh, don't look at the screen. Don't look at the screen. You know, you know I, this, I just want to say, is that, like, as I have been doing live shows for, like, ten years now. And consistently, the best parts ever are when things go completely wrong. Yeah, right. That, yeah. is, that is great. Yeah, no, oh, my uh, gosh. We, let's start the stream late and use the to... wrong deck, and uh, let's get it all up to <laughs> we, just, we go into a game of StarCraft, and I'm like... Talk to me about this game, Ben. Like, <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean 1-0? Uh, oh, okay. Game. All right. We're down 0-1. I okay. believe a comeback is coming. <laughs> oh, here we go. So we're playing a Shaman deck now. This All right, is, cool. Uh, the deck is called, according to my notes, Shutterwalk the Deck. Baleful Banker's a new card here. Oh, okay. So this is Battlecry. Choose a friendly minion. Shuffle a copy of it into your deck. Oh, and it's a 2-mana two 2-2. Two, two. Now, now, this is interesting because so much of like the difficulty of deck construction is that you only get two copies or one copy if it's a legendary. Yep. And sometimes you just want multiple instances. I know that mages were using duplicates to get lots of sludge belchers in yep. the past, things like this. Is this just uh, more used in control decks to get... Extra high cost power minions. Yeah, I mean it just keeps your, your it gives you the tools you need in the specific match- matchup. But I actually think this is kind of super interesting in a uh, specific case. Maybe we'll see the card that I think uh, makes that. <laughs> what a tease! You're running out of time, bro. That's that's okay. No, this is this is a consistent theme on any of my streams. <laughs> <laughs> this is where I go to get water, use the restroom. People are like, he needs to mulligan, he needs to mulligan, he needs to mulligan. So Witch's Apprentice is, again, interesting card, which is, you know, Battle Cry, add a random shaman spell to your hand. Yeah, it's the Hex hey, Frog. Well met. Oh, yeah, you know what? Greetings. <laughs> oh, squel- no, no, we're not gonna- Yeah, no, it's... Now, <laughs> now, when you have the voice actor in the studio, you're just like, no, that you didn't... You weren't expressing gratitude enough yeah. with those noises. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Hey, so uh, we've oh, seen the, that card before. Yeah, but, the uh, bog shaper. Of, it's interesting. You get some spells here from the Witch's Apprentice and then start. Interesting. Using, uh, All right. So we're, I'm just going to play the Witch's Why not? Apprentice. Why not? I don't know what his deck is. I know that it has Prince Liam in it, but yep. I don't even know what that card is. I merely know that we, it's real. I uh, briefly showed it for a second there at the uh, beginning. Well, I've, I've drawn a win condition. Good. Very well. Good. Well done. All right. So. Um, I mean, at this point in time, I, I'm going to want to save this right now. I feel like I'm just going to be banging out the Stormforge like, decks. Yeah, I mean, why not? I mean, it depends on what he plays, I think. We should respond to his his play. Yeah, now, you see, like, that's that's truly the phrase of a player who's playing the game properly. It's like, well, we'll see what he does. <laughs> you might actually get away with coining out Mana Titan on this turn. Yeah, I actually, see, I, I, I developed a plan in advance. See, this just doesn't seem that useful. No, no. <laughs> okay, that no is a little too emphatic. I agree. That's... <laughs> Let's play the Manatee Totem. I'm, I'm sorry I considered anything else. That was my bet. That's on me. Uh, oh, my God. How how long does this go on? <laughs> We're going to find out. Yeah. That's a good question. That's a good question. 
I always ask the best questions. <laughs> that's why. I, that's why I'm the co-host. All right. Oh yeah, pumpkin peasant. Okay. Yeah. So these are the worgen cards. They swap in hand here. Uh, the long, you know, each turn you hold them, they swap. Actually, it's funny because that would have been. I mean, he's got two. He's got enough damage to kill the Manatide, but. Um, yeah, he could have done it. I, I feel like we just play the Stormforged Axe to bop the one-one to try to help guarantee our Manatide lives another turn. Yeah, all Wouldn't right. We'll, yeah, I believe I we, believe that's the right play. I mean, it, it, there's a non-zero percent chance that it's the right play. We don't get to play our Serenite Chain Gang, which I actually don't know if I want to do or not because we have like the volcano here, which can clear the entire board. So, oh eh. yeah, there's <gasps> the vicious scale hide. Whoa, this is an interesting card because like this is. Like a one three stat line feels really good against aggressive decks, um, and life steal is really good against aggressive, aggressive decks. Also. Yeah, but it, it's often very hard to also set up trades. Ah, okay. Zola the Gorgon. Okay, so I'm sort of getting a, a cloney theme here. Um, I'm. I gotta be honest with you, Ben. I just want to hear a power pass. Interesting. I I'm feeling like I want to hear a power pass. How bad? Mm. Yeah, Interesting. No, Oh gosh! I mean, that's that makes me so self conscious, man. No, I mean, okay, I, you know, I, I, dig, I dig it. You got you know, right, to, man. You could I, just play the two-two for you know. I don't know how much you need that value. Right. There. Yeah, I mean, this is. I mean, real. Not going to kill the one-one. Wow. No, I mean, like, I I want to be a little bit transparent, right? I'm yeah. a big believer in transparency. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I just killed a one-one, and I'm not going to kill them anymore. <laughs> on turn four. Okay, so we're getting bopped. He's getting healed up. So I. I it's unclear to me whether or not this is a deck. I mean, he seems to be a little more controlly. He's hero powering a lot. He has a lot of these seemingly defensively structured cards. Yep. Um, I don't think we necessarily need to run down the volcano. I, I mean, well, what's your other play here? Sarna Chain Gang. I mean, I guess I'm not. I'm not over the moon about it. I, I mean, I mean, he can't. He can't clear both. He can't. He and can't. then you can Zola or something. Yeah. Yeah. You know why not? Why, why not? not? Why not? Why not? Why not? You know what? And you can actually. I mean, do you want to clear one one now? Yeah. Yeah, I do. And this is where I think we're going to get an emote from Reels. You probably actually. You could have attacked into the two four or the one three to guarantee that the Sarnite Chain Gang takes it out on the uh, on the flip. But uh, uh oh. Okay. Uh oh. Well, that's pretty bad. There's now this this card I, I think is super interesting. I like that the bells sound each time that he plays. Yeah. No. Bells. No. I get. I get that the bells are sounding. It's right? Three o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So Ooh, that's that's uh. I feel now. I feel like maybe volcano. I feel like I have a volcano for this man. Um, we haven't been super efficient with our mana, but that's okay because I understand that the longer the game goes on, the higher probability we have of seeing more new well, cards. Hold on. So uh, you could you could reasonably. I don't know if you have anything else you want to do. You could lightning storm and, and attack. Uh, and and uh, get hex. I mean, to, uh, volcano seems good. To me. Yeah, I mean, I think volcano makes sense because if I lightning storm, I'm just going to hero power anyways. Yep. And we're going to be overloaded too, no matter what. Boop. So, I think he's going to emote in five. Oh yeah, there is. <laughs> <I'm>, <laughs> my God, I'm past. <laughs> I'm past redemption. I just. I oh, play this game to have fun, and now I'm past redemption. I'm surprised oh. this time you didn't just immediately squelch reels. That's, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, that's enough, Prince <laughs> Liam. <laughs> oh, okay. So this is. This card's really interesting to me. It gains lifesteal and taunt yeah. if it has more than three attacks. Yeah, it's... so if you sound the bells even once. What is... Oh, secrets. Oh, my God. I'm just, I'm, I'm just having the mysterious challenger flashbacks. I'm like, no, no, he's making a tree. You just played two secrets, though. I know. I know. It's, it's, I have a lot of trauma from this. So, at this point, I mean, I can... Yeah, the I feel like I'm, not... Yeah. You really need that seven mana to get things cracking. Yeah, I think I think I just again bop this. Okay. See what's gonna happen. Let's see if any of these secrets prop. Oh, secret. Wow, that was good. That was a good. That was a good. Thank you. Just. That was a good. Feeling pop good. There. Feeling good. Um, and I think just like hero power, play out the stormforged axe again. We'll be overloaded one, which yeah, means you can drop we'll, into yeah, Fox yeah, Cooper. yeah. Oh, I like this, it. This, I is get... it. this is the play. <laughs> this is the one right here. Got him. <laughs> you know we should message him back and be like one and one. <laughs> I'll teach him. <laughs> All right. No, so he's, he's already used Echo the Bell. So, um, Silver Sword. After your hero attacks, give your give your minions plus. It's just a three four. Yeah, he's gonna get a lot of attacks there. He's gonna get a lot of plus one plus one. So of course, that gives his minion the buffs there, the three six. Oh my! This should be called the Silver Hand Recruit Sword because, like, there's <laughs> is like yeah. st is Stand Against Darkness being rotated out. Uh, I believe it is. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <sighs> Okay, you can still do it in wild. Okay. Uh, ooh, is this a, is this? Do you still want to go box here? I think yeah, you still I mean, can. 
If I play it, he has enough mana to be able to take it out. Yeah. Um, I mean, I don't exactly have a one mana spell. You're on the back foot now, man. Yeah, I'll need some of those. You got hex rush cards. I mean, I think you. <sighs> I mean, we could technically hex lightning storm, but I think like just hex hero power pass. I mean, I, I still might even just play box. You got two box shapers. Yeah, and I mean, I don't even know what spells are in the deck, so let's just. And I kind of feel uncomfortable popping this guy for three. I think I think just bog shaper. Just get a little bit of presence down on the board. Uh oh. I can't, oh. be I can't believe oh. it. Why? Oh. That, that was not the play. Oh. Who who hard who hard runs a repentance? Oh. Who runs this card? Welcome to the welcome to the Witchwood Men. Yeah, it's just <laughs> Now I'd like I'd like all of you to take a, a journey to the past with me where Benjamin Brode was like, You might just want to play a bog creeper. <laughs> The bar, you already have two bog shapers in the hand. Oh no! Oh, hey, there's oh ghostly a charger. ghostly charger. Ooh, ooh. I mean, at this point, Reels is like, I gotta, I gotta start throwing. We got, <laughs> there needs to be more shaman cards presented. So, that guys, that's the ghost of shaman's brand new. Divine shield and rush, kind of make for an interesting combination of. Uh, I can't imagine a world in which you win this game. Oh, hey. Does that help at all? Well, I think that what we do is we're going to do some combination of Lightning Storm and Healing Rain. Maybe okay. just double oh, Healing Rain. Oh, yeah. You do, I mean, Haggit does like a, you know, it's, it clears some of these these minions out of the way. Yeah. It doesn't doesn't save you, though. It gives you it gives some armor, though. There's some armor on Haggit, though. Yeah. How much armor is on Haggit, though? Haggit uh, I think it's just five, yeah. so we'd go to 13, which is vastly too little. So yep. at the very least, we're going to need a Lightning Storm and Healing Rain. Yep. But do we double Healing Rain here? Maybe. What, I mean, what else do you do? So you it's don't... one, two, three, four, five, and then this is eight, so that's 13, plus three is 16, Let's get up there. plus another four Lightning is Storm 20. Lightning Storm sets you up for, I mean, he's going to get all his yeah. I, I think we, I actually have to double healing rain here, because he has like 20 damage right now. And... Yep. Oh, that's soothing. You know what, that's nice. I like the little pitter-patter of the rain. <laughs> you know, oh, oh, the rain oh, came in, and then there was the lightning storm. Coming. Oh my god, and then, and then just the gentle yeah. droplets of yeah. rain <laughs> afterwards. <laughs> That was a nice emotional journey you took us on there with those yeah, cards. So I, I mean, like, me. Do you do I, it? I, I, think, I mean, because next. No, yeah. I think you do it because it takes into two. He attacks. That sets you up for the Hagatha uh, follow up, right? Yeah, I, I missed two healing, though. We could have been a 28. You did. But you know what? But you know what? I, think, I feel like that's thematically correct. You mixed four healing. <laughs> oh, no, you're right. Two. Yeah. Over to by two. No, you're right. I, just, I can't believe I've done this. Uh -huh. Okay, so. We're going straight Hagatha on this man. I feel like that's the play. That's fine. That's Guess fine. what? That's Hagatha fine. doesn't feel very much like a spell this turn. <laughs> oh! Oh, okay, and he didn't some... attack. Oh, reels. Bless you. Dark spirits. Dark spirits. Bang, 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 bang. Boom, boom, cleared. All right, so now cleared. we get Easy all game. sorts of juicy spells. Let's do it. End the turn. You have like a whole new set of emotes now, too. Oh, okay, let's go through them one at a time. Welcome to my domain. The light dims. All right, nice. That's good. Let's hit him with the well played. Well played. Well played. <laughs> this is like Grover the hero. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you. It takes, takes quite a while to say each each word. He just triple secreted you, bro. I know. <laughs> Who am I? No, not again. None of your business. Okay, so I think I, uh, I think I think at the very least, I think a bog shaper. Are you gonna do it again? Are you gonna drop right into repentance with bog shaper again? Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes. What's with all the questions I'm here? Just huh? Wondering, is that your plan? Is that what you're actually gonna do? Le gonna... Let me check with myself. Yes. Okay. Here <laughs> it comes. Wanna, hold on. Do you want to like baleful banker first to, ch to check for? Repentance. We'll you see if, two I, if, if I bog shaper and then I Zola and get a copy of the bog shaper, I'll have plenty health for next turn when I can volcano. Yeah. And then I'll still have another bog shaper, That's... and then we will eventually be able to draw a card with the bog shaper. That is ex it's very exciting to me, but I, I feel like maybe just going baleful banker into bog shaper, he can't kill the the uh, bog shaper, right? Nice. That's a good draw. Okay, it would have been fine, actually. Your play was really good. That play was better. Your play was a lot better than mine. There was one less repentance in the deck because we'd already packed one. All right, we're going we're gonna to play this. And this is this is a great draw, the fact that I get healing. Yeah. We're, we're getting we're getting win conditions by the dozen. I'm, I'm definitely going to pop this right now or at the very oh, least run uh -oh. into the Noble Sacrifice, which is fine. I'm just going to end my turn. Get down! <laughs> Uh-oh. All right. Oh, he gets to attack. I love it when he gets he to just... attack. 
He heard his VO line. We're not going to hear from this side of the board, but he's like, Oh, not not the bells. I survived? Uh oh. <sighs> All right, it's Frogger time. We're we're gonna we're gonna turn him into that lumpy uh -oh. thing. <gasps> Transform all one cost minions in your deck into legendary minions. Oh my gosh! And he has all sorts of secrets. Yeah. So it's not just minions. It's one cost cards. It's any one cost card in his deck is now oh. a legendary minion. So you can kind of build it. Oh. You can. Wow, he's a. Uh, is this volcano? Is this volcano time? Uh, let's see. This is thirteen and sixteen. So. Yeah, you yeah. get the weapon. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, we you can don't even need the weapon because you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Total search. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're like Muppets for a moment. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, we're gonna hit this guy. Is this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 All right. Yeah, that's good. That's the most awful I've ever been to a human in Hearthstone. I want you to know. <laughs> I don't that is not. That is no, no. We hit rock bottom today. <laughs> I am a beacon of positivity and cheer on the Oh, end. no! Oh, that's pretty bad. He had no cards in his hand and top decked as Alina Soul Thief. He's going to give her Wind Fury. Unwise. Or he's going to do that. What? <laughs> what? That's, that's pretty, okay. That's pretty rude. Discover a battle cry minion. Okay. Um. Let's see. We have... That's a new card. Blazing Invocation. Discover, Discover a, a battle, battle cry minion. Okay. 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 Um, have my gratitude. I'm a jerk. Wow, why would he Such say that to me? I've, I've only ever been kind to him. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to play the Blazing Invocation yeah. because we always... If you're holding a dragon game, plus one attack and taunt. Yeah, ah. it's, it's strong. It's actually pretty meaty in Hunter because uh, you can emerge that to 22 health, which is pretty rude. Cool. Um, uh, do, you want, do you want the... Some for your um, I mean, he... he Cobalt ah. mm. Well, I mean... He, I say Cobalt. I say Cobalt Apprentice. Yeah, I mean, like, we, 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 we just... He's not going to have that many threats. You have to follow up with the the My weapon attack. Yeah, I think I'm. I think I'm going to have to do yeah. this, and then. Let's, uh, Saranite, Saranite, Zola, get a whole new. Yeah, I make mean, it, make it go on longer. How long can this? Hello, Earth and Might, giving me plus two, plus two. If it's an elemental, at a random elemental, to your hand. Wow, sick. Uh, yo, 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 yo. Go. We gotta yeah, move. Yeah, we gotta yeah, move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm reading the cards. I'm reading the cards. Uh oh. Hidden wisdom. After your opponent plays three cards in a turn, draw two. Uh oh. You walked right into that one. I can't believe I've done this. <laughs> okay, hidden wisdom. Wow, that's 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 a really cool. That's like, uh, is this more useful against aggro decks? Well, I mean, if even if you're against a control deck, eventually this will, yeah, pop off. Well, when I draw two cards, I heard that's good. Oh my gosh, that's real bad. <laughs> Oof. That's ow. Um, okay. Oh, here we go. Repeat all other battle cries from cards you played this turn. Game, ha game. Wait. All the cards yeah, you played sorry, this sorry. game. Sorry. Yeah, sorry, sorry. I, I'm another one of the illiterate Hearthstone players. That's his, <laughs> that's his game. So this is this is, this is is totally nuts, right? So you, how many Sarnet Jangings have you played? Because um, you're going to summon copies of Shutterwalk now okay. instead. Because the battle cries are going to happen yeah, again I think, on Shutterwalk. I think I think that what we're going to do is we is we run out the Serenite Chain Gang. Yep. If we do this, this is split among the enemies, yep. likely killing this. Yep, yep, yep. Um, I think probably hexing. Oh yeah, this hex because, first. Because we already know what is what is in his hand, so and you, it's, know, you can't play all those cards. But, but yeah, uh, <laughs> but <laughs> you know, I think at the very least yeah. we got to play the chain Serenite gang. Chain Gang because that's that's and Banker. I say go Banker because you want to set that battle cry up so it activates on the Shutterwalk. So now you'll get infinite Shutterwalks in your deck because it'll summon a copy. And then oh. the banker will will trigger on the copy, and now you'll get infinity shutter rocks. Wait, but I have to I have to get lucky, right? No, 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 because it's gonna it's gonna activate the uh, the Saranite Chain Gang battle cry. Yeah, and then it'll activate the banker app battle cry, targeting the Saranite Chain Gang. Even if you have no other, if you have no other minions in play. Oh, 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 but you said infinite shutter walks. Yeah, so the could... shutter walk will get shuffled into your deck, which then you could draw and play again, and then play it again, and then get, sh get sh it shuffles one into your deck. I I don't I don't think I follow this at all. <laughs> I think I think that what you've done is you you've explained something very clearly to me, and like the words are going in, but like, like All right, let's write let's write it down. Shardy Chain Gang has a battle cry. Says yes. summoning the copy of this minion. Right. So so it's gonna trigger when you play Shutterwalk. It's right. Got to summon a copy of Shutterwalk. Right. So you're gonna have two Shutterwalks at least because you played multiple of these. You have, you have several Shutterwalks. And then and then this is gonna trigger. It's gonna say choose a friendly minion, shuffle a copy of your deck, and oh, that's gonna be Shutterwalk. Oh my God! Oh, see, so I shuffle Shutterwalk I, back into your deck. Oh my God! Yeah, it's ridiculous. I, Okay. <laughs> okay. I've I've run through the Okay. 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 But we, we, we now need to clear the board. Yeah. Um 
we can certainly. And you also want to play all your battle cry minions because you really want to get the Shutter Rock uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. maximally. Yeah. yeah, play play that, and then so, let's get Primal Totems going. Going. Um, we, we can do this. We can also hex this. Oh yeah, hexing seems good. Yeah, hexing, hexing. I, oh, I should have I should have played the hex first. Yes. Oh my gosh. It's too I'm, I'm getting so many spells. Yeah, yeah no, I'm. The, the, <laughs> you know, the hack of the zero power just keeps filling your hand with stuff. In my head, I was just imagining that this would just summon additional Serenite nope, Change gangs, but nope. it's someone a copy of this yep, minion. Exactly. Okay, sorry, real. Sorry wait, for wait, the delay. Uh, yeah, sorry. No, I, I just I, I just clicked the wrong thing. Yeah. No. All right. Go, 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 I think go, go. I think I just bonk right into each of them. Run them all in. Yep. Run them all in. Bonk, donk, because we want to clear up our own board so we can run out, Mister Shutterwalk. Yeah. Oh my God, the double healing totem, infinity health. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. This is this is this is. Wow. It's bloodless is not bad here either. Yeah, I think it's. <laughs> it's not bad. So at this point, he still has a wind fury and he still has a bloodlust of That's ours, true. and I think he has an earth and might as well. I think you're right. And oh, and now he has all the other stuff too. <laughs> Okay. Oh no! Okay. Oh no! <laughs> Very well. It's Shutterwalk v. Shutterwalk. <laughs> you you know what? You have my gratitude too. Oh, there we no. go. <laughs> now I just I feel I I wanna. You know oh what? This is, no! This game is getting ridiculous. All right. Well, let's let's drink some coffee. We're gonna be here for a bit. Give a minion death rattle or summon this minion. That's in your hand. This the ending card he plays right now is in your hand as well. This is a very nice. G oh, here's the here's the new card. Ghostlight Angler. Oh oh, this is nice. This is just a this is. I don't think we have a real card. He gets to do his Treant impersonation. So um, I th I feel like a Bloodlust to clear to set up Ooh, yeah, for Shutter Walking. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, okay, so at the very least, do we want... I think we Farsight first. Okay. See what we get, because this feels like an acceptable play. Oh, there you go. More Shutter Walks. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and Bloodlust, and then I'm going to play that guy. <laughs> so I think yep. the Healing yep, Totems yep, 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 yep. are fine. This seems fine. It's going to be a 2-3 again. I think I... Bonk in this direction. Yeah, yeah, bonk. Um, I think that I feel like I want to keep this. Will turn into a totem, mm -hmm. but I'm trying to think. Do I want to trade with these two or with these two? Uh, I feel like I'm, I'm going to do this to okay. increase the probability of getting my own board cleared off because I want to have infinite shutter walks yeah. on my board. Yeah. Now this is perhaps the greediest play. Therefore, it's the most awesome and correct play. <laughs> I feel like now's the time to be greedy, right? Yo, uh here. -oh. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, so first, oh, first that. Oh my God, he's never not gonna have then our he's hand. He's gonna get a copy of Shutterwalk. Then he's gonna shuffle. I think shuffle it in his deck. Okay, here we go. Okay, we already did that. There's copies. Okay. Oh. Okay. That's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. I actually don't know if it, I think Zola the Gorgon requires another target to trigger because he played that first. He does not get the copy of Shutterwalk in his hand. Oh, that's right, because Zola the Gorgon reads, choose another minion. Yes, right. So, you, you just, um, Battlecrys can't target their own minion, so I think you're okay on there. I don't think he has another Shutterwalk in his hand right now. I mean, we have to be really careful, because if I, if I like, because he has, you know, he has Wind Fury. You've got, uh, you've got some uh, Lightning Storm action. You could... Yeah, I think I have to clear, and that I cannot yet do the, um, the Shutterwalk. The instant that I can, yeah. I think that we win the game, so I think that we just play very defensively here. So we're going to Lightning Storm, we're going to get another, another spell from the Hero Power. Or oh, excuse me, it, is this... but okay. it's actually it's actually quite crazy with the Ghost Light Murloc because you can, uh, right? You can trigger that hero power multiple times in the same card. So I think that I might just toss the Earth and Might out of my hand so that way okay. I can trade here, trade here, trade here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you want to play it on the totem so you can clear your board? I guess it's too late now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, well, the thing is that I I, I think that what I do want to do is just keep okay, here playing these dudes. Here we go. Get it going. Get it going. And then oh, I'll, there you go. There you go. And th the reason I'm leaving this guy up is that I, I'm very cognizant of the fact that he has two Wind Furies here. Do you want to slap, slap the Temic Might down there? Get oh, me. absolutely. I'm very cognizant of the fact that he has two Wind Furies from getting infinite oh, copies of in my right, hand. Right. So if I leave up the Taunt Totem, That's then not, not bad, not I can bad. Shutter Walk and have a, have a small green man. Yeah. <laughs> in contrast to... Uh, the jade golems, which are uh, yeah, which are which tend to get even larger. <laughs> oh jeez, he did have another center block. I I have oh, an my idea. Oh my god. Oh, now um, he does. So that's how he's getting the shutter rock. He's so he's replacing he's replacing his hand with your hand every time. It's getting worse. He's now he's got two shutter rocks. And there goes there. Okay, all right, okay, all right. This is real bad for you. Um, I don't feel good. <laughs> you don't even, can't even play Shutterwalk. You, you're overloaded. 
Uh, he's got two wind furies in his hand. <sighs> just FYI, just like a heads up for you. Yeah, I mean, I two wind yeah. furies. Actually, what's going on is he's beating you with your own deck. Yeah, no, no, it's no. Like, no it's I've... like your deck, but much better. I know. Now, pa- paladins <laughs> get to be priests as well. <laughs> Um, so, I mean, I feel like maybe we just dig for something magical. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, and I can Ancestral Spirit my 04. That's the thing. You, sh- you should do that, I think. Yeah, I think first... I mean, it doesn't really matter. You're dead no matter Oh, my God. We're you get so some... dead. You're, you're super dead, yeah. You could look for a Battlecry menu with Blazing Invocation. Yeah. I don't know what you could possibly get. Big Game Hunter? You're still dead, though. Good. Well, no, if I Big Game Hunter this, we, 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 we'll, we'll live a turn. We'll live a turn. I'm not sure that's true. Hey, Burlock, actually. Not bad. Shoo! It's also a uh, battle cry. All right, so I'm going to freeze this. Yeah, do it. Uh, and then g- give your give your guy ancestral spirit quick. Yeah. That's your only. That's the only. That's the only thing you can do. Some Dimash. Yeah. All right. Okay. We got so, a plan. I mean, a, a, clear a plan. <laughs> all right. So, so the plan is that um, next turn Shutter Rock. I next mean, turn you'll freeze his his guys. Yeah. One of his guys. Yeah, I oh mean, my God. well, it, oh it, my it, God. It, it's okay. <laughs> this is the this is what happens with Zola the Gorgon and the Baleful well, and, and it's it's happening in a random order, correct? No, it's the same order every time. Oh gosh. Well, I'm wondering how this was a twelve twelve, but this is a six six. Uh, he got the cop. That was the Zola the Gorgon copy. Oh, that was uh, the maybe Zola it is a random order. I've, okay. I've lost I've lost track. Okay. Yeah. Can we can we uh? Can we clear our board and then Shutterwalk clear one of his six sixes and then Shutterwalk our own? Yeah, I think that what I have to do is I have to go hit, hit, hit. Order's random. Okay. Order's random, sorry. Okay, so I messed that up. Okay, so I go hit, hit, hit. At the very least, we, we do this. Yeah. Now, what I need to do is I need to play the Shutterwalk. Oh, no, but he'll just Wind Fury the unfrozen one and kill us. Yeah. <laughs> um. Mm. Oof. Mm. I still, I think we do it. I think we do it and see what happens. At this point, I'm completely unclear. Yeah, no, I, I mean, I, we're, we're, we're more than likely. <laughs> we gotta see dead. how this goes. Okay. Okay, so. Okay, we got. <laughs> got him. Got him. We got that one in the deck. Here we go. Now, if let's only get, it was summoning Sarah and I change again. Okay. Yeah. No. Hey. Hello. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Here we go. Let's get one in the hand. Get it to, oh, that actually is not. Good. That's not bad. That's like the right one that's, to get here. Oh my that's like god. Our one opportunity. No way. We get some. No <laughs> way. No way. This is one I'm, of those. I'm, I'm, no. Oh, that's, that's the wrong so one. That's the wrong one. All right. So he he does have double wind fury. Oh man. You know what we should have taken instead of cult, that thing? We should have taken uh, the the battle cry that gives the Jason minions taunt. That was oh. the that was the right. Oh wait, deal three damage. Oh. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> wait, no, it didn't. It didn't we're freeze. Dead. We're still. It froze, but they killed the frozen one. Oh, of course. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> no. Oh god. If we had taken uh, Sun Fury Protector, those guys would all have taught. Oh. Right. Duh. That would have been insane. All right. Well, I'm. Oh, misplayed. All right, well, well played. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, BM. 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 This escalated Real. so quickly. That was nuts. Okay, okay, wait. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna take a journey into the card collection and look at some of these cards. Sure, yeah. No, make sure we. I didn't. We didn't reveal all of them. Not that. That's the. That's oh the wrong yeah, button. of course, of course. That's yeah. the new. That's the new borrow decks button that's, that came out. Yeah, I, you know, I, I actually have this problem. I don't know if you've ever done this. Where you? I got you. You tell the story. Oh yeah, I'll, thank I'll you. Yeah. <laughs> where where you try to. Uh, you're like, oh, after this game, I'm definitely going to change this card yeah. in my deck. And yeah. then you don't for like four more yep, games. You exactly. just keep hitting the, yeah. the fire match. Okay, okay so, so let's take a look at Zap. What's that first card there? Yeah, Zap is zero mana deal, two damage to a minion, overload one. Oh, this is like, it's kind of like the uh, Shaman version of Backstab. Yeah, Backstab is pretty good. Wow. This, this, is, uh, this doesn't doesn't require you to hit an dam- uh, undamaged minion. You can hit any minion. It's got overload one, which sometimes is upside. Yeah, and I mean, I can imagine that this is a really nice just tempo card because, you know, in the early days, Shaman was very much so like a mid-range, build the board, blow you up sort of deck. And, I mean, lately there's just not been that many Shamans played on the ladder, but this feels like a really nice way to I just secure powerful. your bard. Yeah, and uh, it's pretty good with actually that uh, that classic card that's 3-mana, uh, 2-4, gets plus 1, plus 1 with every overload card. Oh, card. Unbound Elemental. Unbound yeah. Elemental, thank you. Wow, you're good at the card names. Pretty sick. <laughs> name's Day9. Please follow me on Twitter. <laughs> Uh, I'm curious about this. When you, whenever you cast a spell, draw a minion from your deck. I yeah. mean, there, it looks like there's a, just a couple of really high value minions in this like, deck. Yeah. Well, yeah, uh, I, mean, sh- I mean, this is that's a good way to get Shutterwalk if you're trying to build this combo deck. Yeah, and I mean, like you, uh, as I'm scrolling down here, a lot of them 
just build upon large creatures, like, you know, or just large plays. Like the Ghost Light Angler obviously has a really nice synergy with Hagatha. Yeah. You can draw the Shutterwalk. Um, uh, Twilight Drakes, because, I mean, we wind up with a lot of cards in hand, sort of drawn outside of deck. Yeah, and that gives your Shutter Rocks plus a health as well. Uh, let's take a look at Blazing Invocation again. That was a new card we revealed here. And Blazing Invocation. How much mana cost, is that? One cost. One cost. Ah, yeah. So this is also helps you get some crazy battle cries to go off with the Shutter Walk. Yeah, I mean, there's the there's the Fire Elemental. Um, well, I guess Jade's rotating out, but mm -hmm. when it's not <laughs> in Wild, this is like a great way to get Jade Chieftains, too. Yep, yep. And, oh yeah, and I guess this would also let you get more Jade Spirits and um, or even, Black Or Claws. even Shutterwalk. You can cover Shutterwalk this way, too. Wow. All right, should we jump into another uh, another uh, deck here? Yes. All right, let's do it. Yes, we should. Challenge that. that well, uh, is it possible to take a look at the uh, Paladin Oh, deck? let's do that. Yeah, let's do that, too. Yeah, because I'm, I'm really curious about this deck construction. Hidden Ooh. Wisdom was that new secret we saw. All golden cards. It's pretty nice. Yeah, running a one of it seems a little bit hard to proc and trigger too consistently. And then, of course, here's the Obnoxious Repentance, but... Um, this card's really fascinating to yep. me. This is because I know that True Silver Champion has long been like a real staple weapon. Rallying Blades showing up a lot more often, but this seems like super strong, especially yep. with how good Vine Cleaver has also been. We revealed Prince Liam. Transform all one cost cards into the legendary minions. That's how we got Amorous. <laughs> Pretty brutal. Oh my gosh. Pretty brutal. Well, I mean, this is this feels like a really interesting card to have in a tempo deck because a lot of really aggressive paladin decks especially with secrets they just run out of steam yeah and, and this lets you build an aggressive early game deck that lets you transition into a late game powerhouse yeah yeah and there's the bell ringer sentry battle crying yeah. to put a secret from your deck onto the battlefield oh yeah like just trying to thin it out uh just like the mini hey right click on the card let's look at the uh let's look at his uh flavor text <laughs> That's such a knowing laugh. Like, <laughs> 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 who are you? And eh, none of my business. Oh, there it is. So I I if I also look, this um, rebuke is really sick. That's yep. like the, the, the new Paladin Lothab-style finisher spell, and it's way cheap. Yeah, let's look at Swamp Dragon Egg. I don't think we revealed that card in the, in the game. Oh, Swamp Dragon Egg Death Rattle. Add a random dragon to your hand. Oh, interesting. I know that there's been some interesting egg-based decks. You know, like Jackie Chan has built some of those. The player Jackie Chan, not the martial artist. Um, and, you know, just like the zero two 2 draw card Death Rattle yep. or the... Yeah, you know, Runic Egg. Yeah, this has got more health. This is this is a pretty good buff target, actually, right? It's like a... Yeah. It's like a, a reasonable amount. It's got a really good de uh, battle, uh, Death Rattle. Yeah, I mean, I mean, this seems to really sort of like to just deal with some of the problems of having a buff-based dex, which is like you run out of targets. No one's going to want to willingly attack this, so it winds up staying alive more easily. Oh, I saw Vicious Scalehide. Where is Vicious Scalehide? How it's much is that? Two cost, two right cost. In the middle. Vicious Scalehide. Oh, yeah, this was... Ghostly Charger. Yeah, some Rush Minions to get back in the game and, you know, in this case, heal your hero up. So there's, Good buff target as there's well. a lot of the past Paladin cards that have been like buffing things in your hand. A lot of those are rotating out, or mm -hmm. some of those are rotating out. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, won't quite get the benefit from that, but Paladin already has a ton of extra buffs. Dude, All right. Uh, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's, let's do it. Let's fight. Okay, so we're going to right, choose the right deck this time. Oh, no, no, no. Don't go there. Don't don't go there? We're All right. On the Look, okay. Which kind of matter? Oh. I don't want to queue against the random player with our witch pick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Reels fight against me. Okay. Thank goodness. That's why we have two of us here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> okay. All right. So, you can choose the uh, hunter deck. Hunter deck. Yeah, so... Um, not uh, the not the mage deck? Yeah, no, not, not the mage deck. Making eye contact with Christina? No, yeah. it's, the, it's, the wrong one. it's the wrong one? We're going to do the hunter deck. Okay, okay. so the, I, I didn't talk about this. There's that borrow decks button on the bottom there. So if you're challenging oh. another player and they have some decks, like maybe you're newer to the game you don't have a lot of decks, you just want to help somebody play test the game or something, you can hit borrow decks and they get a little dialogue box and they can say, oh. yeah, they can use my decks in this challenge. So just for that 1v1 friendly play experience, now you can oh, use Oh, that's fantastic. Decks. You can swap decks and play each other's decks against each other. Yeah, I mean, that makes a ton of sense even for just like trying to practice or work on a deck. You can be like, hey, dude, can, can you just borrow my deck? I want to try to see right, if exactly. you can figure out how to solve this matchup. Right, yeah. Oh, that's fascinating. If you have a friend who doesn't have the cards that you have and you want them to get the experience of playing with some cool decks, then you can do that too. Right. Oh, Carrion Drake. Carrion Drake's cool. If a minion died this turn, gain Poisonous. It's like my ex esque it's a dragon. Max Naxna. Max Nax. Because it's like Max Nax, the card. So it's my Max Nax, yeah. Yeah, and then the ESQUE for the cultural. 
filing. Thank you for making sure everybody understood yeah. that. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Next, next. <laughs> it's just like, they think Ben had a stroke. All right, so I'm just going to hit confirm. So yeah. Vicious Scale Hide is a nice wandering monster. Very nice early game card. This is, I feel like, been a real all star card for Hunter. Yeah, really good. Yeah. And uh, so actually, Vicious, Vicious Scale Hide is a beast here. And we're playing. E Ooh, oh, he's playing Odd Mage. That's incredible. So he's got Fire Blast wow. right too there. All right, so we have a very obvious turn one play with yep. the Jeweled Macaw. <laughs> and he doesn't... He's an... Oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> this is fantastic. Well, so if he is an odd cost only card from this... Yeah, so that means you, you know he doesn't have some things, right? You know he doesn't have Frostbolt. You know he doesn't have Fireball. He doesn't have Cone of Cold or Blizzard. Or um, Sorcerer's Apprentice, other yeah, sorts right. of things. Yeah, right. So there's a ton of cards. Now you, you, you have some interesting uh, knowledge about his deck that you did not have before. Now, I, I think I maybe don't want to run out the Vicious Scale Banes right away. Sure. Um, I think Wandering Monster is I love it. a really nice card. Because, really nice. Because since he only has odd cards... He's not going to follow up with a spell. He could play, follow out with a one-cost spell. But we'll probably expect him to Fire Blast this and not yeah. have a turn two play yeah. and then donk us in the face. Yeah, let's let's hope for the donkage. Yes, I just... God. Every day, every day, I wake up. <laughs> T today, dear RN Jesus, let there be, in let wherever there be you donkage. are. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's not going to fall for this. No, he's uh, probably stream sniping us. Is my guess. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Why would you do that? Yeah, I right? guess we're, we are one of those popular Hearthstone streams right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, black cat there. Uh, the coin helped him get. Yeah, that, this uh, is. This this card is just already nice in terms of its value. Yeah. Um, I think the Chittering Tunneler is a yeah, nice play. Bad. Yeah. Yeah, it's just pretty straightforward. These scale hides we can't really get a lot of value out of. Yeah, don't, uh, hey, do don't, we do no, we have don't. we have creatures? Mm, no, okay. Don't do it. Don't do I think it. we multi shot. I think it's a pretty yeah, clear. Yeah, we multi -shot. did draw a new card this turn, so we could take a look at that. Uh... Yeah, I think I think I'll well, choose the multi shot yeah. right now. Yeah. And now let's look at this five cost <laughs> card. <laughs> oh, okay. So this is. This is this is like hunter removal. Yeah, it, you could use it like assassinate in some ways, right? Yeah. Uh, assuming they don't have like a top minion, but it's like a five mana removal card. Uh, oh, that's pretty good. Nice. And, uh, okay. But also, if you could if you could uh, set up a, a scenario where you're attacking into a minion that has two or less attack, you can get multiple triggers here. That's pretty good. That worked out well for us. I'm so good at Hearthstone. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Oh well, I mean, I, this is this is the guy who just had his hand stolen last time <laughs> and had inf infinite. What's what's that card called? Uh, Shudderwalk. Yeah. Scutterwalk. Shudderwalk. Shudderwalk. You got you got there. Skitter dock. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna bonk in here. Uh, um, you. I think I want to do some sort of trade to be able to set up the yeah, multi shot. I guess either way, you want to bonk one of those guys first. I, I definitely just want yeah. uh, one of them to die, and I, I'm gonna I'm gonna go right there for the purposes of symmetry, and yep. then Boom. slice them and dice them. And oh, worm guard! If you're holding a dragon, get plus one attack. Yeah, there's a lot of cool dragons in the set. Also, I mentioned earlier, if you could emerus that guy and double his attack yeah. and health, it's a seven twenty two taunt minion. <laughs> That's which is uh that's which is something. awfully good. The Nightmare Amalgam. Oh my god, this is a popular meme card. <laughs> um the, the, it's really interesting to be playing against a um playing as a it looks to be more of a controlly hunter because I think the biggest downside of hunters is that they don't have good card draw. So I have to be very thoughtful and efficient on each mm -hmm. turn. And I think a wing blast even though I'm not going to get the one mana yeah. Um, yep. Value out of it. It just seems like a completely clear play. Yeah, I think so. Look, you're, you're playing a late game deck. You, you got dragons and huge Tom minions yeah. going on here, so staying alive until mm -hmm. that point is pretty good. Starting to get slightly concerned about my scale hides because. Um, uh oh. All right, so we now know why he played the Nightmare Amalgam to be able to trigger the bonfire yeah, that's right. elemental. Yeah, because it is an elemental. So I think that this is a nice combo. The Hunter's Hide um, yep. scale, or excuse me, the Scale hide and the hunter's mark. Yeah, you can do that. You can also vile bird skitterer. I, I, I think, hmm, because right now we don't really have a big powerful follow up play. Um, yeah. So I mean, I, either one. Look, you've got a lot of removal in your hand here, so you can yeah. bust one of them here and hero power, or you can uh, just go vile bird skitterer. The vile bird skitterer is more useful if they if they do have guys with less than five attack. You want to use that or yeah. three attack. You want to use that removal on. I figure I may as well just do this to be able to spend a little mana and yep. pop him in the face because I have an exact clone play there. Yep. But I'm a little concerned because, I mean, being able to deal two damage every turn is really good. It's really good. That's really good. I, I mean, you had to make some sacrifices to do that, right? He's I not love, playing some really good cards. Yeah, I love so much of that. Starts 
the game off because I mean I'll, I want I want to play Warrior right now. <laughs> it is it is super fun. We, I think we actually are going to play Warrior a little later. <gasps> oh, let's see. Yeah, we are playing Warrior next. Yay! Please draw a dragon. That's kind of the opposite of a dragon. <laughs> So right now, I feel like I don't necessarily want to run out the Worm Guard because no. I really want to, that to trigger. Yeah. I really want it to be a 411 with Taunt. Yeah. I so think I think so. I'll absolutely run this out. We have a number of removal options that we can follow up with. And... <laughs> I'm so good at Hearthstone. That's incredible! That's... Oh my gosh! It's so weird because... That is so perfect. There was a moment where I was like, Ben, something's what? wrong. The card has turned yellow. <laughs> and then I was like, very well, let's go ahead and gobble oh him up. Oh my gosh! That's and, so uh, good! <laughs> incredible! <laughs> yeah. I wonder if he's just cursing over at his cubicle. <laughs> and I... I do I want to clear this? I don't think I do because I think I just he need does, to be he very... He does give him spell power. Which is a thing. A little spell damage bonus. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm not I, like. Now. I feel like I am in. This hungry crab is an acceptable way to trade with yeah, this. I, I can be more careful with my removal spells. Oh, ooh, that's pretty good with that rank two hero power there. Okay, okay, it's fine. Um, oh no. So uh, I want to draw a dragon. Hmm. 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 I think you still. I think you still run in there with that and uh, bop the four four. Yeah, you I mean, really it's, that it's, it's, power going. that's so much damage. I mean, th this card is so nice in that deck. I mean, like, a 4-4 four, four body is already pretty yeah. nice. Yeah, um, right. It's odd cost, so you can run it in the odd cost mage, which yeah. is where you want it. And, I mean, the value that it gives is almost always going to be 4 damage in yep. this mage. Yeah, you can also run an odd cost priest, which lets you heal for 8. Or deal 8 damage if you uh, have Akanai in play. <laughs> or 16 damage if you also have Velen in play. Or 32 damage. Uh, two. Yeah. <laughs> Additionally, you could have Valen, Malagos, uh -oh. and that and that nerd in there. Yeah. What? Whoa, what? Blackwall Pixie. Let's do it again. Wow. Now Blackwall Pixie is amazing just in terms of stats. It's a three four for three. That is an extraordinary. Your other minions have rush. Oh, that's not bad. I guess right now your minions all already have rush. Yeah. So not, not super good, but uh... doesn't doesn't feel the best. I mean, if I it's, run it's out, got the, some real, it's got some reasonable stats. It's kind of got a water elementals uh, worth of stats there. So I'm getting really concerned um, about my life because at this point, I'm 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 all in on the worm guard. Yeah, um, right. I think I'm just going to have to play the vile brood skitterer and pop the three four. The three four, yeah, and, yeah, and follow it up with the hellmaster. He's not good. Yeah, it's it's just so hard you have to, to blow remove. everything to 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 kill the hellmaster, and that's good for you. And, and I realize my brain is is sort of pre-programmed with the if you have no duplicates in your deck, like he can have additional copies of the yeah, right. black yes. wall picks. Yep. He can have additional copies of the Deal four four that yep. doubles yep. the hero power. Very well, yeah, and, he, and he probably does. Ooh. He could have two breath that of Cindergosis. Honestly, that spell power is eating you up, man. The spell damage guy. I mean, I know. <laughs> I'm trying not to get killed. You had a chance. Okay. You had a chance to kill that guy. I'm trying my hardest. Um, this cat. I know. If he had one less health, it'd be just if he just significantly. Hey, that's actually really good with the uh, scale hide. Really. Yeah. Good. Oh my gosh, that is that is really nice. So I, mean, I, I don't uh, necessarily buffs three plus three plus three, and then sh and then shuffles copies, the, and those copies have plus three plus three. So now when you draw <gasps> those scale hides. It's it's a real pleasure to be playing a hunter that has control capabilities. That is a really nice effect. Yeah. Oh yes. Yep. Shuffle three copies into your deck with plus three plus three, and the scale hide is a beast. Yeah. So now you have uh, what is it? Two two mana four sixes with rush and life steal in your deck. Mm -mm -mm. Doesn't really help you. Oh, here's a new card. Cinderstorm deal five damage randomly split among all enemies. Oh, oh, we got lucky. I guess we didn't get that lucky. <laughs> <laughs> we <laughs> we got rivered. <laughs> so um, so here we have dragon, 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 dragon. Uh -huh. You know, I feel real pathetic playing a candle shot on turn ten. <laughs> so, which which one? Pick. You know what? I'm gonna hit this one. Yeah, really good play. Really good. Play. Uh. <laughs> Well, I mean, again, we do. We, it's like I, way to use three mana on third ten. That's exciting. You could have just played the worm guard. You could. It's not like it gets way, way better like here. Well, I, I feel like I've just emotionally committed to it being a four <laughs> you, eleven with here's taunt. Here's the thing: when you draw that dragon, you're gonna be like, I really want to really play the dragon now. 
Oh, that's a good thing. <gasps> Thank the stars. All right, we're going to use our super candle immunity to take out that one. We're going to zap him there in the go. face. We're going to take go. this out. And you know, like I the, think at some point you should give up and play Warm Guard. You know, I, I, we're going to have to, but we're going to, to the bitter end, keep him in the hand. This is good. The four, you know, four life steal each turn is is strong. You know, I remember when Hearthstone was was like being released. A lot of people were talking about how strong. Hey, it's, you got, okay, you got the removal there. Hunter's Mark was okay. candle shots, not bad. Okay, okay. You know, I'm so used to hearing like legendary animation and and sound effect and being like, oh my gosh gonna destroy yeah. everything uh i don't want to unleash the hounds yeah. now is Good. it time <laughs> i feel like it is you, having a, it's that's nothing to, to laugh at right having a 311 well you, you say that you say it's nothing to laugh at but i do draw a card at the start of next turn and i think that the chances that it's a dragon is 100 <laughs> percent. it's very high yeah. now that you've committed to playing the worm card there's some engineer you watching this had play plus test. one attack no, <laughs> no <'cause laughs> before, uh, burst into tears on the stream <laughs> Uh oh, here's the voodoo doll. He's gonna pop it himself. Oh gosh, this is so good. Yeah. He could have died as a four eleven. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He yeah, just has. Missiles. He played arcane nest missiles and then the arcane missiles. Uh -oh. He's gonna go all the wrong place here. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, oh no. Well, you know what? I have a bow and arrow. Hiya. Yeah, remember when Hearthstone first came out, there was a lot of discussion that this hero power is so good because you basically have a way to beat your opponent. You yeah. have a finisher That's as true. the hero power. That's true. So in theory, you could have only control cards and Hunter. Five but... turns from now, you've got him. Yeah. yeah. Grab nothing else changes. There's the Curio Collector. All right, whenever you draw a card, gain plus one, plus one. So this is this is pretty straightforward. We're just going to gonna Wing Blast. Yeah, it's good that he did not play our game in like after the Curio Collector. He must have drawn it off the Curio Collector. Here's Marsh Drake. Yep, it's a 5-4 for 3, summon a 2-1 Poisonous Drake Slayer for your opponent. Okay, this seems like an excellent card to run in Rogue, because you can hero power on turn 2, turn 3, throw out the Marsh yeah, Drake and a clear. Yeah, it's good when you have Candle Shot as well. It's good to unleash the Hounds here, wow, right? Wow, yeah. They're both pretty good. I might I think, I think, might do play all your cards here, right? Yeah, like, I, think that's, I think that's absolutely the play, because we, we get out this little guy. Oops. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're going to do this, and then we're going to... Oh, there you go. There you go. Well, you see, I, I have... This is my attempt to be a better human at Hearthstone, is I just let the card hover for just one or two seconds. And then you and then you realize it was a yeah. mistake and yeah. uh, put it back, yeah. And that happens a good 50% of the time. Oh, I was going to say you have lethal expert. <laughs> yeah. No, it's okay. Remember, I have the finisher as my hero power. odd cost card. That's... Uh... Okay. And no ice blocks. No ice blocks. Okay. okay. Not bad. Okay, two more two more turns of hero powers. Now, if he could play the Arcane Artificer, the one-mana creature that gives oh, you armor yeah. per spell cast. That would uh, keep him alive. Well, we're just going to hope that he... Okay. Uh-oh. He didn't play any card draw. That's good for us. Gosh, two damage a turn. This is such... I can't wait to play this Yeah, deck. it's fun. If you're holding a dragon... Gain rush. You know what? Have you ever been holding a dragon? <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> There's no next dragons time, in the deck. Next time you build this deck, man, I recommend putting some dragons in it. <laughs> yeah, I know. Maybe borrow dragons from a friend. <laughs> okay, he's got to heal somehow or beat you this turn. With Wandering Monster, I feel like that's unlikely. Oh, Double. One time. One time. Oh, my gosh. Reels. He's good. He's going to let us take him out. Die. Shot, yeah. Oh, tank it. Got him. Got him. We did it. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yes. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Yeah, all right. Roar. We did it. Yes. We did it. Well, well done, Sean. I'm so proud of you. Oh, my God. That's, I mean, you're a real father figure to me in this hosting <laughs> gig. So, I mean, that just means so much to me. <sighs> I knew you could okay. do it. I, we have to look at this Hunter deck. Yeah. I need to see what Go is. Go decks. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, see, it's 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 from the no, play no, button play, where play. Th there's oh, my collection. Yeah, yeah, yeah right, no, no, right. I see. Okay. I'm I'm merely explaining where the autopilot is coming yes, from course, because I wasn't even aware that I hit that. So this is the hand. Uh, no, excuse me. The that's the deck we want to look at. The two, deck. two times hilarious plan. Okay. Okay. So uh, Marsh Drake and Vile Brood Skitterer were the new hunter cards that we oh uh, yeah. Have here. Hunting Mastiff is a really interesting control card. Mm -hmm. 
Um, so let, let's. Where's the mastiff? How much mana does the mastiff cost? Uh, the hunting. That's the one you just looked at, right? You're talking about the uh, the marsh drake. Oh yeah, sorry. Yes, the marsh drake. Oh yeah, it's a three cost marsh drake. There's yeah, yeah. Summon a two one poisonous drake slayer for your opponent. This is a really interesting card to me because I remember how much damage the tomb pillagers mm-hmm. would deal in the rogue. Yep. You know, a, a lot of people were just excited that it was a body plus a coin because yep. there's so many like combos. That and this comes out one turn earlier than tomb pillager. Yeah. Yeah, and I mean like the five four just getting two or three hits in. Mm-hmm. Is Huge. Yeah, and you gotta that... you gotta set it up right. You know, you gotta make sure you hear power candle shot or uh, I mean, right. even, even like playing jeweled macaw or whatever. Right, could be the the way that you trade into right. Drake Slayer. And then there's the vicious scale hide. Really cool control card. I, yeah, I... especially good with the <laughs> with the dire frenzy that you played. Uh, where's dire frenzy? Yeah, there it is. That's that's really nice. I'm really into this card. And then vile bridge skitterer was the last card that we showed off here. The five mana cost one. Yeah, it was effective there. Yeah, there's a lot of really nice removal in Hunter. Yeah. Yeah, and Worm Guard. I'll just imagine him being procced. <laughs> ah, that felt nice. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at the uh, the mage deck that we saw there. Yeah, the, the, I mean, th- this is... This is a card we did not show on the stream. Yeah, because, I mean, it, it's... I, I think that for a lot of people, it's difficult to envision what odd and even cost decks look like because yep. there's so many cards that are rotating well, it's out. It's easier now that it's on the screen. I yeah, think. I mean, <laughs> here it is. <laughs> so certainly there's the early control cards. You don't have Frost Bolts, so Arcane Missiles, and Breath yep. of Syndragosa. Mana Worm is just always good. But this Black Cat is, I think... Very, very strong. Yep. It felt intimidating. And then two of these. So uh, we, we have revealed Cinderstorm and Curio Collector at five mana there. It's Curio Collector. Curio Collector. Yep. Five mana. Whenever you draw a card, gain plus one, plus one. There's a surprising amount of card draw in this. Yeah, and actually with the it's it's not odd cost, so it can't be in this deck, but the Book of Specters that lets you draw three cards and discard the spells that you draw. Pretty strong ah, with Curio yeah. Collector. Let's look at uh, Dark Sh- Darkmire Moonkin there, right into that. Yeah, this is... You know, the the Moonkin in Druid led to some really interesting and unusual sort of spikes in power. Mm -hmm. And the fact that this is a 2-8, that it's a much more durable spell damage Mm -hmm. card, and it's 7 mana, so it can be played on turn 10 with, you know, 3 mana, the uh, Cinderstorm, the Arcaner missiles. And with with spell damage, this is going to go from 5 to 7. Each individual won't get plus 1 damage. Although I, I understand that that used to be the case. Like yeah. before the game was released. And yeah, there was, was some, way too there was some rude decks there. That we ended <laughs> Malagos Arcane Missiles. Yep. Nine, nine, nine. Okay, so because three plus five is oftentimes nine. <laughs> yeah, right. That's my, <laughs> my <laughs> understanding of how math works. Okay, all right. That's it for right, those, those right. decks. Let's jump back in here. All right, let's do uh, it. Let's take a look at the... We're going to play against his... Uh, you're going to play Warrior. And he's where he, uh, Ryan's going to play uh, Hand Druid there. So the working man. Uh, you're going to play. Don't play. Don't kill for a match though. Let's, let's okay. No. You know what? I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I'm not gonna, you know what? It's so it, it's so easy. Yeah. Yeah. The interface just it just it's it calls play. To it's you. right there. It's right there. You like, want to play? So you click. You're play. like let's play, and I'm like <laughs> I know just the button. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Shall let's I? do it. Let's do it. All right. Choose. Okay. So um, right. let me give you some some tips here. Uh, <laughs> I think I think it was Reels Who Bit the Stick, but it could have been Stephen Chang. Yeah. Uh, it says, I basically typed rush into the collection manager and started clicking. Yeah. That's that's <laughs> that's not dissimilar to how I make that. Oh, there's Lunara. So this is the new druid Ooh. the new druid hero that you'll get uh, uh, here. There's Rabbit Worgen there. That's a new card. All right, so Rabbit Worgen is a 3-3 three, three with a rush. And I assume that we're going to be doing something controly ish because you said it was... Oh, wait, it's not an odd cost warrior. No, this is not. I was wrong about the odd warrior. Although I okay, highly recommend okay. playing it. It's uh, I think one of the deck recipes is an odd warrior. It's like it's like quest odd a warrior. A maximum armor warrior. It is super fun to play. I've been yes. playing it all weekend. It's really fun. Okay, so so it, I don't really know exactly what this deck's going to be like. Is this a more controly deck? You know, it's. Uh, let me see here. Uh, you have a lot of opportunities for value trades, and raw card advantage comes in the form of battle rage weapons and Countess Ashmore. If you don't need to use the war pass for removal, you can use one later with. The Gunspire to go nuts. So, so I'm, I'm going to keep this hand because... Really? you got a lot of sweepers here. You're playing against Druid. I don't know if you need all... I mean, maybe you will. Maybe you will. They have some uh, treants. Yeah, well, the thing is that, like, I... I mean, you're going to end up keeping it either way in eight seconds, seven seconds, you know, six uh, seconds. Five. Wow, you really <laughs> you really put the pressure on. Wow. Oh, there's the Gunspire. Oh, this this is so awesome. Can't <laughs> attack, but whenever it takes damage, it begins blasting. Yeah, everything. so with the, with the Warpath there, it is significantly ridiculous. Blessings upon you. Well played. So, I mean... Blessings upon you. Oh, the Nara. Well played. Oh, my gosh. So annoying. All right, let's... I mean, first of all, let me just destroy this well. <laughs> all 
All right, that's good. I got I got a lot of aggression out there. Oh well, there there goes the tile. Well, you know. Uh, all right. Is the Witchwood Apple S summon the tree ants? And you know this is this is one of these cards that um, you know there, there was the early Paladin reveals uh, at the last set yep. that. Each individually didn't seem to do that much, but uh -huh. when you start getting tons of the combos going, right. they go insane. Yeah. No, this is, he's, got, yeah. he's got a lot of effects that care about how many cards he's got in his hand, and that puts a lot of cards in his hand. Now, I don't know if I should be looking for the value trades right now or whether I should just be building the board and armoring up. Yeah, so you up. only have one. I mean, like, here's the thing about Rush. It's kind of interesting because you could play it now or you could play it once they have a minion on the table. It's basically the yeah. same, but you do need to get something on the board at some point. So. Yeah. Yeah, Rapid Worgen is really interesting because you're familiar with Wolf Rider, I assume. I, <laughs> and ha, Wolf Rider ha, is ha. The, <laughs> I've played against oh, Hunter hey, in 2015. Brand new card here, Tingle for a Mystic. Okay. Add a random two cost minion to each player's hand. I really love this card. A wild miscalculation. Oh. <laughs> okay, so um, we can. It's actually really good right now because you, you can't do much I about can't 3 4. really annihilate it. Um, I mean, we can Worgen and trade, and then next turn play. Okay, okay, real. Shut okay, up, okay. Lunara. <laughs> Just stop it, Lunara. I'm trying to play a game. Um, so, I mean, I, one option is to just coin I this might, out. Yeah, I might coin Blood Razor. That, I, seems, that seems not it, it crazy. It seems okay. Um, and smack it. Yeah. And I think part of the benefit of doing this is that I can play both the Shadow Ascendant yep. with the yeah. Red Band Wasp Ooh, next turn yeah. with it procced. Yeah. 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 In fact, let me lean into the microphone. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> uh oh. Mountain um, Giant's good when you have a lot of cards in your hands. Yep. All right. But actually, yeah. you got the execute here, so you're okay, I think. Yeah, I think, I think I'm. Um, um, mm, I mean, certainly I'm going to pop the face. And, how, about, mm, uh, how about Red Band Wasp attack face execute? Yeah, I think. How's that feel? I think I mean, it feels fine. It feels fine. Let, let's just go ahead and do it. We want to get this to be a 4-2. We want the Mountain Giant to never... No, you're not going to get the rush off here, but you do have you know some pressure on for next turn. Yeah, and I, I think that this is building up to... Uh, like, I can start to get a lot of momentum with these two cards being yep. played on turn 5. Yep. And then, depending on what happens, this could curve out very nicely to the Countess, and then I yeah. can always... Well, actually, I'm probably just going to want to play this because this art is awesome. Yeah. I mean, I mean this... like the, the card just can stick around, right? Like, there's, yeah, you just play it, and then every time you whirl, have a whirlwind effect from now on. It just it sets you up. <laughs> the, I love the art that just implies that there's there's no no leader here. <laughs> People just literally put a cannon out and fire. Wow. Oh, that's actually that's actually fine. Right? You got a warpath. You got warpath here. Yeah. I was that was uh uh. uh, uh Exciting moment, but it's less bad than I thought. It yeah, was. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, it's well. I mean, I, th I think the thing that's really cool is that like a lot of cards individually seem to have just like you know an effect. It's fine. I think I definitely just play the shadow Wait! after. The no, I'm just, oh. I'm just showing. I'm just showing. I'm sorry. I don't oh mean, gosh. You know, like, oh. We can't, we can't have you be oh. bad on the air. <laughs> we can't allow that. <laughs> He's not getting invited back. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm trying to gesture. I'm trying. I didn't mean to hurt you so badly. I never want to hurt you, man. So I mean, um, yeah, like like the Wisp card, yeah. like Whispering Woods. You get a lot of one ones, or like Mountain Giant. Like the it's like the whole theme of the deck is yeah. like this is very new. Mountain Giants and the yeah in the right. Yeah, like it's a totally different style of play. It plays like a, a hand filling deck very differently um, than. Uh, than other other past hand decks like Warlock. Ah, uh, this is this is a little rough because I can certainly pop and then execute, um, and then I can actually I can just worgen yeah, and blow this up. Oh, interesting. You don't have to execute. You could just run the three three. But you're right. You get to keep the the two two on the board if you do it that way. Yeah, I actually kind of like keeping the execute because I just don't know what else well, is in his you, deck. If you play, the, oh, I see. Play yeah. the. But he, I mean, he's used both. Uh, mountain giants. So, yeah, I, I, I've never, I've never seen a, a big hand go, druid before. Do you just go face, make him do the trade. I guess that's. I, I feel like probably I just get sad, pop this, and just keep the board presence. Oh, I'm, I miss my my shadow ascendant. She's very important to me, but yeah. you know, I kind of have a threatening board, and then yep. I can run out the countess, which at six six is nothing yeah, to balk at. Done it in a slightly different way, where you run the run the three three into the giant and execute it, and then leave. 
the um, no, maybe that's not right. Because then you'd have a two-two and a six-three. The bewitched guardian there. Oh, four, this is five mana four nine taunts, pretty good. This is the anti priest card. All right, so now I'm, I miss my execute. Once upon a time, I owned an execute, but give plus. Oh, that's actually uh, it's a death rattle, but but that's actually pretty good for your deck. You have a lot of rush minions. You can draw them on count as Ashmore. Yeah, I think. So, do we want to run out the countess right so. now? I, I think so. I, I think, think we get it out there. It sounds. It sounds correct. And then I think I, I that do, I yeah, almost I, certainly want to pop into I this. I think so. Yeah. There's like just a lot of druid removal. So. Cards in this <laughs> yeah. Woodcutter's axe. So you could drop woodcutter's axe into woodcutter's axe if you really need that buff. Yeah. Okay. And what else we drop? Vicious scale height. Oh, so you have been... that Gilnean royal guard there in your hand. That's uh, swapping now each turn. So uh, next turn you'll be able to play it as a go to the left. It's uh, eight mana cost card there. So next turn you can play it as an eight attack divine shield rush minion. Uh, wow, and that's neutral. And that actually may be the thing you want to do here to kill Splintergraft. Oh my god. <laughs> so now he's a ten mana ten ten, but which card is he's he's a ten mana ten ten. Oh wow, town crier. Look at this. Draw yeah, a rush. The good. Town crier. <laughs> Oh, what a weeper! Um, okay, so let's see. How do we get through this? I think I think that uh, rush divine shielding is pretty good right now. It's a good thing he's in working form. Oh, I see. The thing is that on his turn it was eight three. Yeah. So it says each turn this is at your hand. I thought it swapped when it came to my turn. So I thought it was going to oh, come no, back and be a three eight. Swaps the end of the turn. So you know the you can... end of the turn. Yeah. Okay, excellent. Well, um, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to yeah, definitely. I like, it. I like it a lot. Trade a here. That's very useful to know because I I was planning around this completely the opposite. Because <laughs> <laughs> I thought that he was going to be three eight, and I was like, "Well, we're going to have a rough turn." So this, my oh my gosh, and he still has the ten ten one. Okay, oh, man, here that's we a, go. that's enough of four ones that gain health. Um, all right. That's good. You get the guns. You can set up the guns by now. They have a war path for turn ten. I don't know if you want yeah. to do this turn. I think. But... Well, I mean, if we play this out, and then we just wood chop this. Um, yeah, that seems reasonable. I think that's I think that's the play. Yeah. I think that's a very reasonable play. So here we go. We go woodcutter's axe, and this is death rattle. So we haven't we haven't messed up anything yet. We're going to pop. We're gonna we're, we're sad that we're losing some health, but it's all right. The gunspire. And again, I feel I feel kind of obligated to. Hit yeah, this. and the gunspire could take care of that guy next turn, right? Like, yeah, I mean the reason I feel obligated is that swipes. You must got you got really Morgan. You got you got uh, a lot of opportunity. My Ooh. Not my Ooh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, how how bad do you miss that execute right now? <laughs> I I miss it dearly. Okay, well it's too bad that guy. Uh, maybe next turn will be useful as a six two rush. So so we can war path and let's see. So we can deal up to five times. Yeah, it's three gonna damage. hit all the things five times and then you're gonna deal right fifteen. 15 damage with Gunspire. But is there any way to be able to... I mean, like, we could just try to Town Crier and draw in some answer for this, you're gonna, You're gonna... You're gonna die, man. Gonna, this is not good for you. He's got 14 damage with attack on the board. Well, listen. Let's be awesome at the very least, huh? dun 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 Yeah. Boom. That's good. That's da -da 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 Ideally, he doesn't hit that 4-1 at all. Face. I mean, you could... You could... You can almost kill him here. He's just talking. Okay, yeah, yeah. Two more hits. Da -na 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 -na. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Okay, you know what? You know what? I'm all in on this. I'm committing to this plan. We're doing it. I mean, he is at eight. Uh, uh. So, it, we'll definitely go to... kills you. That's too bad. Yeah, no, I mean, there's a, there's a lot that kills us right here. He's got ten cards. What are the chances one? Of those? He might still be squelched, so we haven't heard an email yet. <laughs> Draw a card, gain one armor for each card in your hand. Oh. Okay, Druid, stop doing your warrior impersonation. Oh wow! Oh, what is this? Dark fall. On Dusk fall. Each maybe turn. First card costs zero. Huh. So first thing you play here is going to cost zero mana. Okay, so this is this is the potential to do something really amazing. I don't know. Wow. That's actually good. And actually, you got the. Um, you know, it's funny is you could you probably don't want to attack with your weapon there, but you could replace your weapon to buff it to yeah. eight four or eight three and kill that ten seven. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I think we definitely Ooh. play the swift messenger. I feel like you do, but maybe you need the life steal off the uh, yeah that's the scale blade. I, I think I need to play this hit 
and then play the the scale bane. I mean, the axe, problem is, you, and then, yeah, you don't get the dusk falling off the board, and, and uh, I'm pretty sure next turn is not going to go well for here's you. Here's what we're going to do: we're going to play this for zero. <laughs> I mean, you already are just going to die. To and then I'm going to town crier it, just to be able to draw a rush minion from the deck. Oh, okay. Because I don't see any good plays right now, because he's going to have a zero. I mean, spell. armoring up is a not bad play. Right yeah. Now, so. Maybe I'll save some mana for that. Yeah, we'll have enough mana after the one cost. Okay. Not not the best. Okay. I think you gotta I think you gotta play your woodcutter's axe. Don't know because otherwise you you don't kill that guy, the ten seven. You gotta you gotta but, play. But it. I can play this and woodcutters. Oh, to heal. Okay, yeah, right. You can do that. Yep, 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 yep. Now I know next turn is gonna hurt very badly. Armor, and then armor. um armor up. And I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Don't laugh to me. Oh my god. Okay, the, <laughs> the pressure. Chris, Chris, Christina, who's over here, like m managing the stream and stuff. She, she buried her face in her hands. She's like, <laughs> covering her mouth. Oh. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. I, I have rush minions. This is actually really nice to be able to at least have some answer to this. However, I'd like to stress that none of this is funny, and this is a hard <laughs> moment for me. Okay. I know. I know what Twitch chat looks like. I know there's people that's going. That was that was just bad. Oh no! You, you've okay. lost like seven different ways here. But all right, here we go. Take that. <laughs> Got him. Yeah. All right. Okay. So we need to deal eighteen damage, kill a twelve, twelve, and oh, dude, look at this. We don't even have to spend man, and we'll draw a card. Oh my god, the town crier. I think that's me right now. This is what I'm gonna look like. Do I just? I think okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna rabid war again. I'm 100 percent sure it doesn't matter what you do here. You know, you're you're real, you're like a father figure to me on the stream. <laughs> I want to say that again. Uh, we're gonna draw a card. Yeah. Oh, Darius Crawley is good in a normal circumstance. That's, it, that's, uh... Ha ha ha. Yeah. You know. What? Let's. Yeah. You know what, man? He's done. Here we go. Bonk. All right. We're gonna run out this one three. He doesn't even know. Yeah. 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 There we go. You know what? To the face. Yeah, to the, the face. Yeah, yeah, got him. Ah. Got him. I will At least he knows I went down fighting. <laughs> <laughs> um, like, like the games that we've lost today, he's just had huge boards and yeah, so many yeah. creatures. He's definitely emoting at you right now. He's just like spending Is his he? turn just like blah, blah, blah. Uh, Okay, let me unsquelch him. I actually, too late. Too late. I forgot that I haven't squelched this whole time, man. He's, <laughs> he's going to rewatch this VOD and he's going to be like, oh man. Uh, I'm going to see Reels at lunch and be like, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to mute you. <laughs> All right, we uh, we saw a couple of the cards there, Rabbit Worgen and Tangle for Mystic, but I, I think we should, yeah. uh, do you want to check them out or do you want to just go straight into the next game? I just want to briefly look at this Brief, deck at some briefly. of the, yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to lurk here too long. I mean, the Countess Ashmore, I feel like, has a lot of just potential in any deck, given how good um, the Curator was. Yeah. I and I mean, uh, Lifesteal Minions, I mean, they, they haven't been super all-stars yet, mm -hmm. but, you know, like Prince Valinar, honestly, was pretty effective in a lot of the control decks. Militia Commander is one of these cards that's just, like, incredibly powerful as yep. a rush minion. Yep, and, uh, you know, Woodcutter's Axe helps, it makes that even better. Hench Clan Thug. After Hero Attacks, gives me... Ooh! Oh, that's pretty nice. The Hench Clan. What is the Hench Clan? The Hench Clan? I don't even remember that. I don't... Hench Clan. Mysterious. I don't know, yeah. Who Mysterious. knows? Who, who put right. this card here? It wasn't us. You know what, Ben? Let's just go into the next okay, game. Let's, let's, go. Go, let's go into the next game. <laughs> let, let us not muse on the history of who and what is the hench clan. What what is our what is our final match? Uh, we got an exciting one here. Okay. Uh, so, P pumpkin cry. <laughs> is that you know that you know what I just realized they've numbered the decks in the order that we were supposed to play them. You know what? I've just I've just now realized. That. Now that we've hit the end, <laughs> that was a smart organizational technique. <laughs> That's very helpful, actually. Wow, it's like all completely in order. Well, I mean, let's be honest. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to look at the number when there's a name like Pumpkin Crab. <laughs> yeah. Like, well, what uh, is that? Reels is going to be playing, playing meme on stream here. So let's, Okay. Uh, all right. Well, let's let's do it. Yeah. No, I I had a really tough week, and I just went home and had a good Pumpkin Crab. Hands Clan Thug was a new card. I it was in that lat, that uh, hand through deck, but, uh, but it's a brand new card. And is it whenever your hero attacks or whenever... Well, yeah, no, it was whenever your hero attacked, so Druid would be able to proc that every mm -hmm. turn. Yep. Okay, so here we go. Oh, some new cards, oh. some new cards. Okay, Very okay. Cards. Deal four damage to a minion. If that kills it, add a copy. That's not the new card. Of it I mean, it's hand. been a new set, but it's, yeah. not, it's been revealed already. 
So I'm gonna people have chuck it. these back whenever that's friendly minion is. Oh, injured blade master! Wow, a four seven. <laughs> so whenever, wow, four seven. This is overpowered, Ben. Gosh, why would you put this here? Okay, so whenever a friendly minion is healed, summon a three three help. Yeah. All right, and priests He's are got known nine health. So like, you yeah. might get some heals off that. I think we, I think we keep it. No, I'm just kidding, Ben. I don't, I don't, I don't want to hurt you that way. All right, so I'm just gonna keep the injured blade master. Love um, it. Love it. There's the lady in white. Oh, the lady in white. Oh, ho, ho. anyone who loves inner fire priests is going to love this card. The, I mean, the inner fire priests right now are extraordinarily good on ladder. So so uh, just a little note on this deck here. Oh, there's a new card. <gasps> Restore to... Oh! And it... Pumpkin cry. <laughs> All right. All right, let's heal reels. This is this is a really interesting healing it card. It looks like just bad wow. voodoo doctor, but actually it's uh, it's because it's so flexible and you can play this multiple times. You can hit multiple healing triggers. So if you need like a nice scale matriarch, you need a separate healing triggers. Yeah, you can get all yeah. those. Also, that's pretty ridiculous with Arcanine Soul Priest. Ooh. Okay. Okay. So so. Priests typically play in a really controlly fashion, so typically I'd want to heal because the injured blade master is just going to be a four three, and I don't want him to just be able to remove it by you know getting an SI seven agent out and yep, yep. popping yeah. it. So I'm just going to go ahead and continue. What's that? What, are you doing? what do you mean? Why would you play injured blade master and heal? What? What do you mean? Why wouldn't I? <laughs> I mean, like, why is it? Why would you not just do that? It's like a really good turn three play. <laughs> well, the, the things that I I, I, no, I I want the game to go on. Much longer. Yeah. I don't want to get any sort of big tempo he's, he's out at the start. He's gonna, he's gonna crush you. Oh, th th this is. I'm doing this for the stream. You know what? You know it might be a good turn for play. <laughs> you know, part of me wants to just ock an eye and then circle of healing and be like, and there you have it. Here's, I I will justify this. Uh, okay, okay? Oh, I will do. I will yeah. justify this because circle of healing. It is four health, yep. and we have the Akanai. This yeah. is the classic priest classic. sweeper, yeah. and Rogue has tons of four fours with the um, the Strider. I don't remember the yeah, 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 Falderai Strider. Yeah, the Falderai Strider. Yeah. yeah. So, so being able to do that feels way more powerful than getting a four seven out against someone who has you know saps and viscerates uh, yeah, and stuff. Yeah. It sounds like you're saying, "Cool, but you're wrong, dude." <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> uh, so uh, this, this deck, the notes here, says heavy healing focus with some new cards that benefit from it. If I can, I ever stick Squashling turns into a bit of a chain gun. Mm. Also has many minions that synergize with Lady in White. So I do think getting Lady in White down, wow, we should have a minion on the board. That'd be pretty good right now. Now, the one thing that does kind of stink is that these become, oh, do these become 7-7? Seven, seven? Because that's right, it's a battle cry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so can't attack while. That's a new card, yeah. While damaged. Okay, this is Quartz Elemental. Yeah. Great, 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 great. This is super interesting. It is. Go ahead. Yeah, tell me why. Yeah, let me... <laughs> good job with this card. Let me give you the rundown. See, like, like there, there's so many healing effects that are, like, you figure out the way that there's the value. You know, yeah. just high health cards, but these are a lot of, like, triggers that explicitly proc on healing. Yeah. Um, oh, here comes Face Collector. Uh oh okay. He's buffing up that Mist Wraith. Dun -dun -dun. Mm, this is tough, because like, even... Uh, you're going to try and take out your Quartz Elemental before it gets to attack. Now, the nice thing about Quartz Elemental is often your opponent doesn't even bother doing that, and then yeah. you can get some healing triggers if you do have a card like Night Scale Matriarch. And maybe your plan is the right plan here. Your old school... Yeah, I mean... I, I don't think you would have been in this position if you had uh, played the 4-7 on turn 3, but uh, I do think now is the time you gotta you got to start making some moves. Yeah, I think that we can also Arcanine and Hero Power and just be up against some 2-2s two and still that's save the circle. That's not bad. You have two Arcanines. You can do that. Yeah, I think, I think, that's, I think that's what I'm going to go for. If the Arcanine sticks here, it's... Uh it's squashling time. Oh no! I mean, like, e even on if it's a bad play, we're going to do it. <laughs> like, I want to be real clear about one thing. <laughs> Sincerest apologies to all priest players. I'm like, no, you got two of them. <laughs> <laughs> and and you know, like maybe on the next turn, I'll play both of them in circle of healing to heal slash kill them yes, immediately. Right, exactly. just, just, <laughs> <laughs> Add a random card to your hand from your opponent's class. Okay, and and I know there's a number of cards in this set that also mm -hmm. gains benefits from that. Yep. <gasps> that's uh, that's supposed to be my card. Oh, there's a bunch of cards. There's a bunch of cards. Okay, created by the Raven Call. That All was right. the guy. I added. It's two random one cost minions mm -hmm. to your hand. 
Okay, so... There's the Matriarch. She's actually not bad, right? He can't deal all that damage. And then you could start... Uh, you could, you could squashling okay. to to hit, heal it multiple times. Uh, do you want a lady in white here? Lady in white. You know, I I I'm go I'm going to I'm yeah. going to because this is the this earlier is you do it, awesome. the better. Yeah, I mean we we clearly couldn't do it on turn six, but now that we've done it, this is a oh no, it's, it's in your deck. deck. It's, it's not deck. In your but hand. It's, but deck. From now on, from now on, your deck's gonna be a little uh, a little silly. Can you imagine the two mana five five light well? That seems pretty good. I mean, I can easily imagine it. <laughs> well, I would play out the Auk and I and be like, oh no. Okay, so what was That's this card? card. This is the no, cursed. New card. Oh yeah, this is the rush draw combo card from your deck, and it's interestingly costed too because rush. I feel like a lot of rush cards in my head. I think of as removal cards. Mm -hmm. So this is just deal five damage to a creature. It could be, or you, I mean, it, it's still it's still like a, you could just play it as a normal minion, right? You could just play it and see if your opponent has an answer. But yeah, it's very good yeah. if your opponent has minions. If you're so, coming from behind. So let's see. We can we can knight scale right here. He doesn't have the most threatening board. No. Um, these are not seven sevens, but I think yeah, this I think is okay. Could, I think you could have like it could be a crazy next turn if you uh, Northshire Claire play both. If you play Masters in Circle, if he does not clear the Night Scale Matriarch, that's gonna yeah. be that's gonna be trouble for him. That's gonna be nice. And this is whenever a friendly minion is yep. healed, not necessarily this one. And right. It's a three three whelp. Yep, they're pretty big. He's got something. Wow. Uh oh. Big, big, oh, big cheap shot. shot. Gonna keep. So I'm gonna end, hit it, and I'm gonna hit here, it. It's like it's like a it's like an orc just just punching a, a, uh, <laughs> a the night grimace elf you had like ah oh, this one time <laughs> just, this orc just, just keeps kept, going. It just keeps. Oh, this is <laughs> this is I think the gif of the show. Like, <laughs> oh. Okay, so he he's continuing to build a board. Your minions cost two more. Okay, the raven collar didn't help him the most. I mean, we can see. Oh, here we go. An eight-eight for that's the inner, inner fire lady. Already paying off here. <laughs> inner fire lady. Did, is the Northshire clerk a three-three? Do we do we get uh, inner uh, fire lady off before Northshire clerk was drawn? We did. Oh, it, it's it's a very potent and powerful three-three. Yeah. I feel. See, I, I don't really know how to value the circle of healing because we could run out the two hundred blade masters with the Northshire cleric heal oh, up yeah. and draw. Oh No, I think that's great. I, I think like that's that a lot. I think that's going to be the right play, but. Um, I think I think I heal once before yeah, I do it to get as well. The extra, yeah. Extra draw. yeah. Yeah, like the so last. Our, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh my God. Amazing. Even more amazing is this. Wow. Boosh. Oh, Ooh, that is really good right now. That oh is my really God. good right now. That's uh, normally a two seven. Yeah. <laughs> That's a seven seven. That is that is quite strong. Very good at Hearthstone. <laughs> okay. Oh hey. What? Don't give me that. Well, that's unfortunate. You're gonna have to Yeah, I mean I think you can, clear. I, you can run into it though. Yeah, I think I just bonk. Yeah, bonk. Summon Oh wow. That guy sticks around for a while. Oh yeah, it's it it's a four four that makes two two twos that each make two, two one, one ones. ones. Yeah. So I'm just going to Bonk. We're going to run out the mossy. I love it. Yeah, he's power. a huge threat here. And then I think I also just power word shield. Yeah, why not? Just be able to draw. Right. And then I can... Wait, what are you going to draw? Yeah, remember. Remember, we hold... Okay, that's a new card. So normally, you can't tell this, but actually is a zero nine. 9 normally. It's a brand new card. We've uh, uh, buffed its attack here with the uh, Lady in White, but that's a 4-mana 9-9 nine nine taunt for you. Which is... I feel fantastic. <laughs> that is great. Wow, that's, that's a DIY Jade Golem right there. <laughs> <laughs> that is good news. Yeah, so it's z zero mana. Uh, sorry, f four mana, zero nine taunt. It's I just, mech too. I, I just want to. It's, it's a pleasure to be yeah. here playing with a four mana, <laughs> nine nine with taunt. It's really good. Spectral Cutlass Life Stone. If you play a card from another class, oh, gain one durability. And that's a new card there. The Cutthroat Buccaneer. Give your weapon plus one attack. Now this, wow, this is this is like a. It's almost like a temporary Kingsbane. Because uh, yeah, you can you wind can keep, up you continue, can, yeah. You can just keep feeding it durability. So every card you play from the class keeps that that thing around, and it's got life steal, which is pretty good. Okay, so we can we can play the Obsidian Statue. <laughs> we can play the well, because if we play you, this, your deck is uh, has gone a little crazy. Yeah, <laughs> it I start think, started to do I some dumb I'm just things. Just gonna get some some of the troops out. Let's do it. Let's do it. And do what priests do best, and go face. Yeah. So these guys, these are these are brand new. They cut through a fucking year. Give your weapon plus one attack, and a two four stat line is really nice yeah. uh, as anti aggro. And I don't really know what the meta is going to look like, but there's like a lot of paladins uh, on the ladder right now, just mm -hmm. overrunning people mm -hmm. with tons of tokens, small dudes. And this coffin crasher is also, I think, a really nice I one. 
Oh, yep. Someone a death rattle I mean, in your hand. The death, matter, <laughs> the, the death rattle minions in your hand right now are quite good. Yeah, I mean, this one, he's he's not bad. Yeah. Uh, this one is, he's not bad. Yeah. Yeah, he's going to have trouble getting through that 9-9 nine, nine taunt minion. I, uh, now, this, that, it did say that this was meme on stream. So I think, I mean, we're going to see something see, silly. Like, cold light oracles and vanish. I'm like, no, you got rotated out. You no oh, here's Tess. Replay every card from another class that you've played the <laughs> He solved it. He found a way to get in. It's okay. I can go the distance. No, come on. Trade right here. Trade right here. <laughs> Talk to him like he's a small cat. Come on. <laughs> okay. 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 Oh my oh. gosh. I haven't seen him in years. Welcome back. Matt Welcome Dino. back. Good to have you. Welcome to the expansion. Okay. I'm trading in here because yeah. that is hilarious. Yeah. Holy water will give me. I you know I want I want my very own Nat Pagel. I want my very own Nat Pagel as well. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to go boop, and we're going to yep. see what we get. Okay, yep. now we could Vivid Nightmare oh, on yeah. that. Oh, yeah. And that's, yeah. And so I'm going to do this, and this means that I'll have just enough mana to get my very own Nat Pagel out, <laughs> yeah. which uh, is unlikely to be the winningest play, but is certainly the best play. <laughs> and I'm going to go... I think Face. Yeah, I think Face is just yes, too good. I mean, e even if he's healing for two a turn, excuse me, three a turn, I just I see this card so rarely. I <laughs> the light well. Maybe you should, should attack the light well. Just gonna go ahead and pop some squash. Yep. Ooh, I missed that one. Let me get that one taken care of again. There we go. Ooh. So I mean, in, in this position, I really feel good. I feel like there's a high <laughs> yeah. probability that we're gonna win. Echo. Oh, okay, Add a random go. card to your hand from your opponent's class. Yeah, and he can just keep playing. Whoa. Ah. Uh. Yeah, I like these cards because uh, you, you, first you think, okay, I'm gonna play these a bunch of times, and then depending on what you get, actually, maybe you don't, maybe you don't finish out the, you know, maybe you play Lyra instead. Okay, so it's got a lot of health still, but you got quite the board. Okay, so let's actually see. Divine him. Okay, so this is seven and four is eleven plus four is fifteen. Yep, verified. Plus a whole bunch of twos. Yep. Doesn't get to twenty-seven. No. Oh. So you're almost dead. Just, just heads up. It is true. It is true. Restore six health to all friendly characters. Yeah, that's not bad. I think, I think we're gonna have to do that. I think we're gonna have to do that you just could. to be safe. Yeah, I think so. I think we just start popping this. Yep. I think pop this. We're gonna so leave I, the light. I wheel. would go light wheel here because you, you want to split the damage here and hopefully. Uh, oh you... yeah, right. Because if it's split, heal, heal this for three or heal this for three, yeah. so we get sort of more permanent damage. And then I think I'm just going to literally go straight divine. Heal up. I think I might have gone Oh no, that's good. Yeah, I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Yeah. This this is this is really satisfying to me. You know, just honestly, one of my greatest pleasures in all of the history of card games is playing a hugely statted minion. <laughs> that's right? just, it's so right? satisfying to me. Yeah, oh uh, yeah. Yeah, he got me. He got he did it. Okay, that's great. <laughs> He I games. love that card, though. Camellios is one of my favorite Camellios cards. Camellios is fascinating. Yeah. Each turn it's in your hand, transform it into a card your opponent is holding. It's yeah. scouting. Yeah, it's it scouting. <laughs> he's an SCV. Um, okay, so he's at 30 health, and I think that I just... Uh, it's I think, weird, because I feel like you've been dominating for a long time, and yet you've dealt no damage to him somehow. Yeah, he's... I mean, Lightwell's a good card. Yeah, let's let's get rid of the Lightwell and the... Uh, yeah. Yeah, This, yeah. Just, this yeah. just seems correct. Yeah. And now Pagel is going to be pulling a card into our hand that, every turn. That weapon has been keeping him, like, he should, every turn gets to, to hit with that weapon because he's been playing so many cards from other classes, from your class. Oh, wow. That's a good one. Uh-oh. So he's going to hit for eight, heal for six. Yeah, you'll heal for eight, too, which is good. Oh, yeah. We're going to heal. Uh, heal eight more, back up to full. Another eight. So we're going to draw the card from Nat Pagel because I'm the luckiest Hearthstone player that ever lived. Uh, and we're going to go oh, ahead... Hey. I think we're going to hit this, and could we're going to lose Nat Pagel, which is sad, could, but could, that's uh, all right. Oh, really? Could have healed that guy. Up there. Split him up, split him up. So I'm just going to Curious Glimmer it. So we're we going to um, Okay, what is he playing? Well, this what, is it. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> all right, well, I mean, this is this is the one that's in the deck, yep. so... Yeah. Uh, I think actually maybe let's set up uh, Akanai for the chain gun squash link turn. In case uh, actually you're oh. not you're not gonna get it. You're I don't think I'm gonna get it because my board's too full. It's too full. It's gonna, I, it's let, gonna let's, stay full too. Let's let's give him a call and put a vanish in his deck. Yeah. 
Uh, I think I'm just going to pop and pop, and I feel like, you know, I'm going to have to do this. And then I'm going to begin to try to clear my own board to just set up this awesome. You get pickpocket. That's actually kind of interesting. That's spectacular. Hmm. All right. I mean, this, I think I think we have a strong board. Yeah, I feel good here. About our board positions. Our chances. It's pretty nice. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He basically needs exactly Psychic Scream, I think. Yep. I think that's that's the only thing that makes this game go on any longer. Vanish? Could be uh, another city, obsidian statue. <laughs> yeah, he's, it's a lot of priest cards over there. All right, Reels, what's it going to be? What's it going to be? Is it the slow roll? He's, just, he's hoping you could see it. He's like, oh, it's, it's, it's got, it's got I mean, he's, he's holding it out. He's got it. Could see. Think. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, so he's he's hanging on. That was actually pretty good. Yeah, we don't actually deal terribly much good. damage. That was like one of the better priest cards you could have got. Yeah. All right, so he's going to Vile Spine that because he wants to make sure that he removes all the sources of significant damage. Yeah. Uh, that's a lot of healing. So he's still in here. You've got nine damage, eight, uh, to 11 damage. Available. Wow, that, that, was, that was a hell of a turnaround for him. Yeah. So, I mean, I can play the Akanai and nuke my entire board. Um, I think that I think that instead what I'm going to do is just play Tess. <laughs> sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you could set up the, I mean, yeah, the, the Akanai, but I think you're right. I, think I mean, the thing is, that, it if I play an Akanai, he's just going to pop it you're with right. a Spectral he's Cutlass. He's easily going to pop it. Whereas if I play Tess Greyman. He's just going to pop it with it. Oh, it buffed your thing. Right, of course. Oh, but then he replaced. <laughs> That's not... Oh my that was, gosh! That was phenomenal. That's like that. That feels like charging a fee to provide a refund. <laughs> like that doesn't. That's not nice. Okay, I guess I'll just. I'm gonna get rid of the two twos just to clear the board yeah, up yeah. a little bit for Ock and I, and then I think I'm going to encourage him to. I, I think it's better to just yeah, have go, the stickier test, minion. It's yeah. a good draw. Just may as well hang on to my two two weapon. And I think at this point in time, like, we're just slow. Like, I always feel like I'm about to beat a rogue because for so many years, rogues didn't have any life gain right. except for yeah. maybe Antique Heal Bot. And yep. now there's just all the lifesteal weapons. Yep. And yeah, this one hits for a lot. Uh oh, here comes some echoing. Okay, so he's going to play some priest cards. There's the Walnut Sprite. That's cards. a new card. I think we've showed that one well, before. Oh, this is nice, well rounded. Three, three for three, and you can get a whole bunch of them. Yeah, I like the flexibility of these echo cards. You can play them on the early game if you need to get in there and do something uh, to stay on the board. And then later in the game, they're not dead draws. You can, you know, fill your turn nine with Okay, so sprites. I go one, two, and I can fit three of these. Can we just yeah. go face? Is he, can't he really six, do anything? Six and two is eight and ten. He did ten damage ten. this turn. Yeah, and then we He doesn't can have do the healing anymore. Yeah, we killed him. We killed him. We're going to do it. We pulled it off. Oh, do we actually have lethal? Oh, we do. Oh, squashling lethal. Nice. Oh, my gosh. Do you have room to fit them all? Yeah, I have just oh, okay, enough room. Okay, That's okay. what I was counting out. Yeah, yeah, so we'll go to seven. Okay, nice. Perfect. Got him. Got him. Well yes. done. Well done. Yay. Congratulations. What a pleasure That's it was. That's really interesting to see the number of cards that interact with healing effects because I feel like, you know, right now Priest is really relying a lot on, like, greater healing potion yep. for just huge, massive heal. A lot and of different heals here. There's not as much... Uh, planning around a lot of the healings. Just do I want to heal myself or just play other cards? Yeah. Oh, he says GG's. GG's. Yeah, a little smiley Jeez. face. You know, and we're going we're gonna to respond to him. Respond to him. Two and three. Because we did go two and two in games. The and we conceded the first see, incorrectly. At all. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> I said something to Reels that was very funny. <laughs> All right, well, yeah. uh, those are all the decks we're going to play. Should we look at the last deck here and, and just make sure we uh, oh, yeah. see that it's I'm, revealed I'm, all the cards in it? I'm real interested to see like w w how the how the priest construction Don't looks. Don't borrow his deck. Don't borrow his deck. <laughs> Sorry, you got my collection. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Here we go. Pumpkin cry. Yeah, yeah. So we saw um, Squashling there. We saw yeah. Um, Unpowered Steam Bomb. And, and Squashling is so interesting against. Uh, I mean, there's with Echo. And with a lot of the token generators, there's a lot of methods of just building a big board of small creatures very yep. quickly. And you can just answer this on turn 10, just like healing for 10, yep. having five two ones. Yep. Let's take a look at uh, Unpowered Steambot in there. Pivot Nightmare. Where's Unpowered Steambot? There you are. <laughs> Quite good with the Lady in White. 
uh, we saw Quartz that Elemental. Is, that is great. I really like Quartz Elemental. Super Quartz Ele- Elemental is a, is a really interesting card because it comes out and it's a gigantic threat. Yeah. But then you can like, I guess you'd probably have to deal like three damage to it to to mostly guarantee that you can't just hear yeah, power here. It's not going to come back for a while, right? Yeah. And, and then do yeah. you, do you commit to taking out the rest of the quartz elemental, or do you let them sit there and hopefully your opponent doesn't heal Gosh, it up? That's yeah, that's a really difficult stat line. Quite interesting, I think, an odd priest where you have the really powerful heal for four hero power to start the game. Wow. Yeah, I actually feel like this is going to be like a real all star card. And we saw Night Scale <laughs> Matriarch there at the bottom. <laughs> this is where I start making predictions. I feel like this is going to be an all star card, and someone's like, clip that. <laughs> We're going to show it to him in three weeks when no one plays that card. I'm like, oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Th- this is a super powerful summoning effect. Yeah, this is this is no joke. Like, this is a lot of stats. It's hard to kill this thing in one turn, which means you're and and then if you can't, do, yeah, do you really want to let it sit like deal any damage to it? Yeah, and then they get to attack. It's hard to to manage this guy. Yeah, three threes are really obnoxious because yeah. you know, um, what's the seven five demon that summons two ones, six mana, like the original set demon. I literally am blanking on his what, name. The seven fives. He's a six seven mana. five for six mana. What? Illidan. Illidan. Thank you, Illidan. <laughs> Illidan. Thank you, Christina. Illidan, extraordinarily <laughs> important and famous character <laughs> in the history of Warcraft, <laughs> and all he does is summon two ones. No, oh, every oh. time you play a card, he summons two ones. But you know, it, two it, ones. there's there's been a few token generators in the past yeah. that you know it's 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 much gentler than this. Like yeah. just one three three is very intimidating. Yes. To just come out it, for free. It keeps going. All right, let's look at the, uh, the rogue deck that we saw Ryan play. Oh, yes. Memes on streams. There it is. Yeah, immediately, I'm I'm really interested in a lot of the three-cost cards. So this is like a really uh, echoey deck, right? There's uh, yeah. Mistwraith, which gives him bonuses whenever he echoes. Uh, it's got a ton of different echo cards in the deck. Right. Yeah, I mean, I'm really... I, I actually just really like... Um, where is that three-mana, three-three three echo? Right there. Ah, Haha. Uh-huh. This is the sort of thing that's that I feel like is just a, a really nice, well rounded card yeah. for someone who's trying to play some sort of mid range ish deck because, you know, you're not going to have a lot of card draw. You're trying to get some extra punch through momentum and yep. then you can just drop several 3 3s. Yeah, it's kind of a, like the more aggressive version of Phantom Militia, which is the more defensive version. Here's, yeah. that, here's that Hinch Clan thug again. What is that? After hero clan? attacks, give this minion plus one, Question plus mark. one. Man. Yeah, yeah seems, Rogue and Druid. Good. Especially, yeah, Rogue it seems very good because you can weapon on tur- two and play this on three and make him a four four. Man. All right, that's uh, those are all the those are all the games, man. Okay, so so there there is one thing that I really wanted to ask about oh, because okay. you know now most of the cards are revealed yeah. and a lot of the existing set has been rotated out uh-huh. and I know that what people will typically do, I mean myself included, is we'll compare all the existing cards to the existing decks and now oh, yeah, a lot right, of those yeah. aren't going to happen. Yeah, are there? It's going to be a whole different meta. So I, I I would assume that your team's been playing a lot of this set and playing <laughs> this expansion. So I'm curious, like, what are some of the meta things that have come out that maybe you can tease that you think might be well, showing I, up a lot. I, I'm really excited to see what players do with the odd and even stuff, because I think that there's it's really 18 different ar- archetypes, right? You can play odd paladin, or even paladin, or odd mage, or even mage, and each one is significantly different. Yeah. And so I'm, I'm just really excited to see what players start start tinkering with. And yeah, out I mean, I'm going immediately going to make a warrior with my tank up hero yeah, power it's right fun. from the get-go. It's pretty Yeah, fun. like it's, being able to turn forward well, it's, it's, heal it's up. The, the strategy of like, look... I can outpace a lot of boards, right? If you're like yeah. an early game and you just play a couple one ones, like if you do four damage to me a turn, I'll just tank up and, and, and stabilize, right? You, right. Oh, you do five or six damage a turn. I'm actually taking two a turn then because I'm taking up every turn. And then and then once they they have to commit a significant board to start actually damaging you. I heard some noise. I heard a victory Wait, sound effect. Ho- hooray! <laughs> hooray! Wait, can we get that again? <laughs> We can't. Oh, uh, we, we need to have that on a soundboard. <laughs> <laughs> Press the button uh, every time we do something good. But but once you, they have to commit a significant board to get through tank, right? Up, and then you brawl or you reckless fury or something else to, to wipe their board and then or really warpath now, yeah. yeah, warpath, right? Exactly. So it's pretty satisfying to play. You really have to force them to make. A, a, a... Wait, warpath is even. Never mind. Disregard. Oh, you're right. No, that doesn't I... work at all. Actually, it's a. That's a. That's a that's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you did it so slowly and deliberately. Oh, that's. <laughs> yeah. You know, you're in the stream. You're very much so a father figure to me. So that sort of affection, it doesn't happen very often. It just is very, very meaningful to me. I'll remember it every time I lose a game of Hearthstone. It's okay. I remember that Warpath was two mana. All right. So we have some. Uh, do you have any other, any other 
So the no, I, I'm just really, really, really excited to play. I am because, too. It's this April 12th. Yeah, I mean, the, the card... on April 12th. I feel like Rush creates really nice sort of back and forth swinginess, and I feel like there's there's so much complexity. <laughs> Did the stream here, the victory noise? I hope so. Back? I hope so. Otherwise, we look like we're hallucinating. <laughs> Um, you know, I'm just I'm just really excited. I mean, especially just the rotation out of the old cards. Yes. Like, if any of you have not experienced what it's like to have a set rotate out. It's the craziest. It's really, really cool. It's just like playing a completely new game with yeah. new toys. Uh, okay, so, uh, yeah, it comes out uh, April starting on April 12th, which means that uh, Wednesday, April 11th, is the last day to pre-purchase the expansion, and this this is the this is our best uh, pre-purchase deal ever because it's it's forty nine ninety nine yeah. US uh, for for the normal fifty packs plus twenty bonus packs yeah plus the card back so last chance don't don't uh, every every yeah. set someone tweets at me and is I didn't know I didn't mm-hmm. know this was the last chance to, to <laughs> and you know it. what. Now you're not going to get any of those tweets. <laughs> you did it. You've solved that that problem that exists on Twitter. All right, so there are a couple last last cards to uh, reveal. We're going to put those up on our Facebook gallery. Uh, I think starting right now, right like right at the end of the stream. So yeah, I mean the uh, the twelfth is in three days. It's Monday. The twelfth is Thursday. Yeah, so I'm right. certainly going to be playing all day Thursday and Friday. And of course tomorrow I'm going to be doing the most powerful card review that has ever happened. Oh, I'm very excited. It's going to be that. extraordinarily correct as well. <laughs> I I appreciate everybody who does these card reviews because. They're always very wrong. Very wrong. <laughs> and, very and wrong. People, we always enjoy laughing at, uh, at at people who do that. Oh yeah, yeah. It's, it's, so I, I appreciate. I appreciate the putting yourself out there and uh, making bold thank statements. Thank you. Thank you. No, I'm I'm going to go all in on this because you know historically, <laughs> I, I like to try to be a reasonable person. Oh, this could be good. It could be yeah. bad. I'm not going to do that tomorrow. We're going to be we're going to be real. We're going to be very real. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Sean, it's been it's been awesome having you. Ben, it's been. What a what a thrill, a delight, and a pleasure it was to be here on the Witchwood stream. And thank you for all joining us. It was a lot of fun. See you on Thursday. Bye.